All right, hello everybody. How are you guys doing? In the chat, I see we have a couple of viewers in here and hopefully we'll get a couple more. As we start rolling this out, we're gonna be going live, uh, and well, we're already live. I mean, we're gonna get into our game here in about five minutes or so. I'm just gonna wait on the invite from Saber. Um, today, I am with my, my good buddy, Nihilus. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Asmund? I am doing awesome. Let me make sure Discord can you talk real quick? I should have done this before. Uh, yes, this is me talking. We've got a good match today. I'm very excited. Uh, this is a, I, I was talking about Asmund with it before stream started, but this is our first time commentating in a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're excited to be back on the mic. Uh, we got a good match today between Aimless Esports Academy, uh, their academy team, uh, winners of the most recent LFGS tournament. Uh, they're going up against uh, UW Whitewater White today, a new team that I have not personally seen before. I'm excited to uh, to, to get our eyes on them and, and see what they're what they're capable of in, in today's featured scrim. Awesome. So I see, I'm trying to set this up. I, I, I see you coming through the desktop audio, and I thought that mm -hmm. I would have this on chat. So what is going on with Discord that I wouldn't be able to have input device and then system output device. Would I do chat like that? And then can you talk again? Uh, this is me talking there we go. again. There you go. Heck Perfect. Yeah. All right. So now so you're was coming I, through the right. You were stream you, could hear me before, right? Yeah, you, you could hear you before too. It was okay. just weird because it was going through the desktop audio, which I have lowered this way. Our oh, voices gotcha. go over overwatch a little bit. Right. Gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. Right, and now we're kind of balanced to where we're louder than the game, which is ideal for us to be able to be heard. Okay, perfect. <laughs> right, perfect, perfect. no, no, we're good, we're good now, we're good now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just kind of waiting for Saber to hop in. And I know he's got me at it. Yep, he's already in the lobby. Let me actually add you to my group. Are you, there you are. There Get you in my I group. am. Yeah, excited to excited to get back into things with a with the featured scrim today to have a a, a good time watching that and and hopefully yeah. see a, a an exciting fun match today. I will say, I gotta say it before stream starts. My Dallas Cowboys did lose today. Oh no! Rip feels bad. Feels bad. Lost to the Arizona Cardinals, one of the worst teams in the league. Feels bad. But, oh, it feels bad. You know, that's uh that's just what you grow accustomed to as a Dallas Cowboys fan. So a little bit. How's it going, Wayne B? How's it going? Come Welcome on, in. And Welcome in. What's up, man? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so I think we've got uh, Aimless Aimless Esports their their team in first, right? Yeah. Uh, Which, by the way, for the crowd, this is not the Aimless Esports that won 2023 tournament. Okay, this mm -hmm. is the academy version of the team. All right, the the main roster that won the tournament. They're scrimming like masters, like high diamond masters right now. So, no, this is not them. This is their 2.5k like low plat team, all which right? is so sick too. Right, that Aimless yeah. Esports is playing at that level now. Right, indeed. I feel like a major uh, a major aspect of the lfgs server is uh finding players around that gold to platinum range uh and giving them opportunities to compete against each other and to practice seriously right mm -hmm. uh and improve right so it's cool seeing that our most recent winners have moved on to masters and hopefully soon beyond that yeah. Um, so that's that's really cool. Just a a show of how uh, effective the server has been at cultivating talent and and cultivating uh, the competitive scene within that skill range. No, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. No, it, it's been like such a good like uh, just an outlet for people to like find their way into the space. Um, and especially when we were running those tournaments before, I mean, it was a great way for people to meet other people that are around their skill level. Um, yeah, and it was just a, it was just a great community to build upon. I, I feel like we've created quite a nice little community that doesn't really exist anywhere else. Kind of just because we have that sort of uh, that gold and plat team space, like really just mm -hmm. really just locked in. Hey Ari, how are you? Oh, how's it going, Ari? How's it going? Miss you, Ari. <laughs> it does look like we've got UW Whitewater White yes, in the do. lobby excited we've got baconator battle cat pro 
W, oh man, with G candy, with is that how you would go about pronouncing that tag? With G candy, that's a pretty good name. With G candy, butter nugget, and anaconda. Any life uh, we remains in the chat. Any life we remains, I think you may be oh one of the few. Oh my god! Hello. Although I actually do love Life Weaver. Life Weaver is sick. Oh my god! What's up, Getty? Dude, it's been a while, man. Oh, it's so good seeing everyone again. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it's so good. Cav. Oh my god. Cav Thanks for the being boss. here, everybody. We got just a we got just a minute before we're ready to to hop into this match. Indeed, man. Oh, it's been too long. Just so you guys know and understand, like Nihilus and I have not played Overwatch in a minute, all right? We're kind of rusty. A little rusty. bit, just a little, a little, little bit. A little bit right? rusty. Yeah. Um, we're just kind of like really enjoying the vibe. We're trying to just cast again. We're having fun. We're doing this because we just want to cast and we want to hang out with you. Mm -hmm. Like that's kind of why yeah. we're here and what we're doing. So um, mm -hmm. really glad to be here. Really glad that you guys are here. And yeah, we're just going to have a good time. Okay. Uh, Asmin, what is stream title? Stream title, LFGS Summer 2023 Tournament Handbook Debut. Why didn't it change? Okay, hold on. Oh, no. My bad. Oh, LFGS no. uh, Featured Scrim. And it's going to be uh, one of these teams. We got Aimless Esports Academy versus UW White Water White. Okay, did that work? I think it did. That's mom to you. Hell yeah. <laughs> my bad. Oh my god. It's mom to you. Sorry, mom. My bad. And Asmin, are we working with a... Do we have a delay on the stream or or are we just doing so. it? We're just doing it live. Um, Video stream. That works for me because then we can hang out with chat a little bit more and that'll be fun. Um, Where... Stream delay, I, it doesn't say that it's enabled. It said it's not okay. enabled. Um, can you check? I don't think it is. I, I'm i looking at stream right if now. If you're looking at stream it and it's pretty recent, then yeah, we should be good. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Usually with the with the tournament, we would have to wait a minute before we could see chat pop up and, and react to crazy plays and stuff. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, today, no like no stream delay. And so this is not like there's no stakes. This is not a, a match. that This is just a scrim, okay? And mm -hmm. so hopefully we'll be able to see your chats live and we'll be able to react live to it. I've also added our cameras actually to the, the live gameplay scene. And so hopefully you'll be able to see our reactions to big plays happening. And that'll be, that'll be pretty fun as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm excited to see what UW can do. I, honestly, like that's actually also pretty cool because I've you know like have I seen Aimless Esports Academy? No, but I've seen Aimless Esports. You know, I I understand like that like community, right? But I've never seen UW. That's some, something that's new to me, and they and they're kind of new to this community potentially. So yeah, I, I'm excited to see what they can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aimless Esports obviously uh, has. A reputation within LFGS, a very, uh, uh, a very strong and uh, prideful reputation yes. within LFGS. Very strong competitor, mm -hmm. uh, and we know the kind of culture that they can they can bring to a team. Seeing as how they've moved up through the ranks in Overwatch competitive so quickly, uh, so taking on this young talent, Saber is going to be coaching this team. He's going to be uh, uh, available helping them through this match today. Uh, I'm excited to see what kind of coaching he's able to bring to these young players. Uh, you said they were around the 2.4K range, right? 2.5, I think. 2.5-ish. 2.5. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's up, Alaskan Pebble? My boy. How's it yes. going? Alaskan Pebble. How are you? Um, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Saber was such like an impactful tank in the LFGS 2023 tournament. I loved seeing his gameplay. I loved him pulling out the the Zarya weird time. Like he just pull out Zarya and just start mowing people down. Like that was inspiring stuff. And then his his Reinhardt yeah. didn't his Reinhardt go big? Like if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think we saw some really fun plays from uh uh from from Saber's Reinhardt because they had another Reinhardt on their team, right? I, I can't remember his name. Um, oh yeah, I know they had two tanks on that team, uh, but Saber would come in occasionally on the Reinhardt uh and and really perform really well in that role uh Indeed. and then has the flexibility on the zarya too so i remember that he was like say it was like saber and then uh again and on kevin fan club's side it was 
what was it gamma yeah gamma and they were like neck gamma, and neck yeah yeah they were neck mm-hmm. and neck that was pretty cool yeah what a sick that that was such a sick match between oh, those yeah. two teams that was so sick aimless will simply not lose here i think you're going to have to back that up with uh with um with a prediction, I think, right, Nihilus? I don't know. Oh, Should true. We put a yeah, let me go ahead and get yeah. predictions. <laughs> let me get predictions going real quick. Do we want to do? Uh, we want to do each game. Each game, sure. Let's just do like each, yeah, yeah each each, uh, each little round or whatever. Yeah, or game, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah. All right. All right. We'll see. We'll see kind of what's going on here. I don't know. This is don't. This is not a toxic thing. I don't know if like most of you in here are aimless fans. Like, you know, let's give a little bit of love to UW as well. Let's not be toxic. All right. All right, got that prediction going. Go ahead and place your bets. Who do you think is coming out on top on Lijong Tower, Aimless Academy Sports, of course uh, Aimless Esports Academy, or uh, UW Whitewater White? So, oh of course, it's Lijong. Hey, of course, what you, of course, we'll never get out of first round Lijong territory, man. It's just it's well, just a when tradition. you have such a perfect map, mm-hmm. you know, of course you're gonna go to it. It's true. It's, I don't know what they did. I mean. It's it's like Lijong and King's Row, where it's like I don't know what the Overwatch devs were 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 on when they made yeah. those maps, but they killed it. They 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 perfected Overwatch maps, uh, they and did. they did that early too. So, man, that is true. So good, Aimless so good. It's unstoppable, says Alaskan Pebble. Aimless unstoppable? is unstoppable. I don't know about you know unstoppable. We that is that remains to be seen because remember, this is not the aimless you've seen before. This is 2.5k aimless. This might be a little more tame. We don't really know. We're gonna see. So we'll see. Listen, listen, Asmund. All I'm saying is the last time I casted an aimless esports match, it was a quick and dirty 3-0 yes. to win the finals. But all have right? you That's seen, all I'm saying. Okay, but have you seen the enemy team? They have Baconator 26 and Butter Nugget. I don't think these are like, these guys aren't screwing around. They have some pretty solid listen, names, all right? Listen, yeah. <laughs> uh, Baconator is definitely not someone I'd want to run into, into a, in a competitive match. Immediately, Dude, immediately, fear struck within my heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, Immediately. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, like, I see Baconator, and I'm just like, okay, well, that's just a wipe. I mean, there's nothing I could do about Baconator, man. Mm. Absolutely nothing. Oh, jeez, Baconator might go crazy. <laughs> All right. And we are finally getting into this match here, this first match of our of, of today's featured scrim between Aimless Esports Academy uh-huh. and UW Whitewater White. Uh, early on, we see uh, potentially uh, a, a Hanzo coming out from Ward. Well, I'm interested in seeing if that stays, and then a very traditional uh, a very traditional brawl comp coming out from Aimless Esports with the Symmetra and the May. Yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. What is Baconator going to choose here? Um, remember, this is a scrim. This is not tournament. So they can add time to the clock here and think about what they want to do. Um, think about sort of the strategy they want to play. Um, oh, I thought Baconator was the tank. Okay, no, no. The the Grim Rhino is the tank. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, have, okay, I made the okay. same mistake in my mind. Same Indeed, mistake. dude. Okay, Butter Nugget on the Junkrat. I think the Junk is a big play here. So they're choosing to go with the Junkrat over the Symmetra. What do you think about Junk over Symmetra here? You know, I really like Junkrat on especially on this point of Lijong Tower to be honest it's uh-huh. something that Plant Gang ran ran a lot when we were uh in the LFGS tournament i think because of these these closed hall these closed corridors with mm-hmm. these hallways you can bounce grenades off of walls really really well and yeah. with, you know brawl comps that are typically run here you can do a ton of shield damage and and splash damage so i actually do really like the Junkrat pick. We'll see how well uh, Junkrat ends up being a, a, a factor in this match. No, I totally agree, and I think that you know you get you get there quicker with Symmetra over here. But like, like especially in Ryan v Ryan, I almost don't mind. Like, I really feel like the Junkrat's gonna be a big play here. Especially look how close knit everyone is in that tiny white room there. If Junk can just put his damage through and like really make his presence felt here, especially those fire strikes, I mean this can really add up. However, at some point they do have to walk forward, and they are gonna have to avoid the turrets, which they have done it looks like uw is trying to avoid those turrets they're just in that choke and it looks like the points already going to get capped for aimless esports with very little con uh little contest 
my god, he, so many resources put into Grim Rhino to ensure that he stays alive, but it might just pay off here. Butter Nugget already has a tire and lets it rip. Oh my. That is phenomenal healing on the part of UW Whitewater White. That was that was insane. I, I cannot believe that Grim Rhino survived all of that pressure coming in from Aimly Sea Sports. You yeah. had the invincibility coming in from the BAP. You had the Kiriko invincibility. Uh, so much healing being dumped into that tank to ensure that they can stay up and win that fight. Did you see the little shield flip from uh, from E Cube to like block that that uh, tire? That was sick. That I was love that little. Sick. It's just like flick the shield and like block the tire. That was pretty sick. All right, what are we going to see here now? Oh, a pause is what we're going to see here. I was thinking about, like, what kind of ults we're going to see here. UW coming up, Baconator getting that window is probably going to be the play, the one I'm thinking about here. They also have that Shatter mm -hmm. that's already online. Um, and, you know, uh, Whiff G Candy has got the pathway of enlightenment coming up so you know that's also mm -hmm. kind of neat on the other side though we have a you know a big sim wall we have shatter kind of coming up but definitely some shatter advantage coming from grim rhino i think he's just been hitting more fire strikes and he's going to get that uh shatter a little bit quicker although axel is already already has the battle so yeah that's another i, I thing. think it's going to be I think it's going to be really important to watch this Shatter duel right here, right? Grim Rhino has the advantage. He's got it available to him. E-Cubed is going to need to stay in front of that team. I already see, uh, if you look to the side here, Symmetra a little bit segmented off away from the team, right? She can get called out very easily, especially in, if, if you're in that hallway without your Reinhardt. Uh, yeah. We're going to need to be very careful because just a Shatter onto one uh, onto one opponent here could be a huge swing in in, in this fight. Uh, and and keep control of this point for just that much longer. Uh, that's what I'm watching. Here's here. my prediction. Can E cubed block this shatter? Okay. No. Here's what I think is going to happen. Right. I think they're going to go for the window fire strike like really quick. That's going to happen really mm -hmm. quick. And as soon as the window uh, comes down, the fire strike's coming through. It the, like you know Grim is just going to shatter right through the the window and then just go like big. Like dude, it's just going to be like who. <laughs> You are absolutely cracked. I if think that it's going to happen. What happens? Dude, Grim, I, I'm looking. For, we're looking for a window fire strike followed up immediately by a big Grim Rhino shatter. Is that what we're going to see right here? If that shatter uh, wipes the entirety of AMC Sports, dude, I'm just going to be flipping my mind right now. There was one fire for strike. Wait for the. Wait for it. Baptiste movement trying to maneuver into a spot where they can get some real mileage off of this but look at the positioning right now coming in from a oh what a big Ooh. pick from butter nugget there goes the shatter it picks up a bunch grim rhino gonna take out the lucio both healers are out of this fight and they're gonna clean things up from there what a great sneak around shatter taking out the back line and finishing that fight for whitewater that was huge and and you know what like if they might be down in ults right now and aimless might be up but i mean at this point they're ahead they they're just can keep winning fights and they still have uh both support ults on their team so it's not like this fight's unwinnable it's going to be hard but it's not unwinnable and as long as they just i think if they should just play really quick here like force ults from the enemy team rather than let them like think about their ults and what they're going to do next you know so if i'm uw right now i just walk down that hallway i mean why not like force with force the issue here comes the the window fire strike and is actually going to get up the baconator so baconator is not going to be able to counter window here looking pretty good although axel goes down too no baptiste in the equation here EQ does. Oh, there is a witch shatter right there. It doesn't oh. pick up anything. Picks are going back and forth and a huge tire Water to nugget. equalize oh, things. Water. Lucio uses the sound barrier at this point, just trying to survive and long enough for his team to come back. Peach D trying to Here stay alive for as long as possible. The window comes back to get the extra damage onto the Lucio, but the Lucio oh. is surviving right now. Axel is able to make it back onto the point. Here comes the Reinhardt trying to come in and protect the team and a big Symmetra over. wall there to provide a little bit of coverage. Now we've got an invincibility coming out from the side of Whitewater. Watch this Reinhardt pushing some pressure onto the Symmetra. It does look like UW Whitewater is going to clean up here and take this first point of Li Zhong. But not without a fight. Oh my god, the Lucio Oof. holding that point for so long i mean huge props to peach d for just like holding that point for so long enough for the baptiste to get back for the sim to get back to drop a wall to get the mm -hmm. reinhardt back i mean like they had a bad hand on that last fight but they played the hand they were dealt really well even though they didn't win that they played that hand really well and also you got to give props to butter nugget on the junk rat mm -hmm. for getting that big 3k because it did look like it was like even and it was like kind of in aimless's favor but then butter nuggets like you know i exist right <laughs>
It was it just a kills massive, three. A just kills massive tire, three, dude. Oh, it was big. That was big. Swings the entirety of the fight there too. And one thing that I do want to hit on real quick early on, I love the positioning being played from UW Whitewater White, uh, I, who I will refer to right. as UW in UW. this uh, in this match. I'm gonna pronounce that oh. name is a little bit of a of a mouthful. <laughs> uh, I, I love the positioning. They were playing so spread out. They were playing behind walls. They were providing cover for each other uh, to the point where, you know, Aimless Seasports Academy, they couldn't find a, a spot to use that big fire strike. They couldn't find a spot to use that big window. We saw mm -hmm. the window come out. There was a fire strike coming out from e Cube that did manage to get a kill. Yeah. But uh, everyone's hiding around corners. They're, they weren't able to get anything after that. And with a big Bastion ult, both covering the window, uh, preventing uh, Aimless from using it, and picking up a kill in the process, uh, it just invalidated that the use of that window. Uh, so really great positioning from this team so far. I think you're right. Like really good positioning. Now, but I've got a proposition for you. And I, now we could mm -hmm. pronounce them UW, but okay. what's your opinion on pronounce? You just just add a single more U, all right, and we get uwu. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Uwu. Uwu. I mean, it's pretty oh, close. I it's already <laughs> ooh. Why not ooh woo? Like it's so close. I'd want to know. I would. I'd want to know what UW Whitewater White thinks of ooh woo. I'd. I'd have to know because me personally, I'd love it. But you like maybe, it? Okay. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't appreciate the, the. Maybe you know, obviously not a disrespectful uh, <laughs> thing in our minds. We, we, we love it, all. but not at all. We love it. Uh, perhaps, perhaps un until we get to know them a little bit better, perhaps. We'll do white water white, but hey, if you guys are rewatching this vod, let us know. Yeah, <laughs> I'd let love us know. to know if uwu is is the the vibe from here on out. Yeah, let us know. Also, chat, let us know if we should do that. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, chat, chat chat matters way more. That's more important. Oh yeah, what? for sure. What, what does chat think of uwu? What do you think team about that? Uwu. Team uwu. Team <laughs> uwu. Would you root for any team named uwu? That's the big question I have for you right now, chat. We unfortunately wasted our prediction <laughs> on on like the results of this match instead of like what we should be calling a UW. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunate. Can't, can't believe it. Damn. What could have been? Looks like Academy really is would. ready. So here we go. We're about to open the gates here. Both teams are running this Symmetra, by the way. The early the big difference here is that one team decides to play a Bastion and one decides to play a May. And so like Bastion really needs to get uh, really gets to get damage with this this turret form immediately. Needs to get a kill like right now. Maybe get a lot of big damage on the tank. And it looks like he's just not finding the kill he needs. It's a huge pin from Grin Rhino, Rhino though, knocking E cubed, pinning him off the map. Gets two kills there, and it is uh, gonna be really really tough at this point for Aimless to get back into this fight without their without their Reinhardt. A huge pin from Grim Rhino there. Oh my god, that was a. Definitely, that was a huge pin, and and just just throwing you know this in there as well. Now they have the turrets placed up, and now the job for uh, for Kenjita is going to be a little bit even more difficult because again, Kenjita has to get that uh, that turret form. Like it just needs to kill a tank. It needs to do something big, and if he doesn't get anything out of it, like the May, just it's too much attrition. You know, like May's cooldowns are just too good. Oh my god, and you can't see that if you're aimless, like. Number one, I don't know the Sims should be flanking on their own there. It's just a, a little bit crazy. Um, when so, you're playing Symmetra, you, yeah. you gotta you, you feel like you, you're... Yeah, I don't know if you've ever had that beam charged up all the way, but you feel very powerful in those moments. Sometimes you just get a little power drunk. That's all it is. A little bit. That's like going on the flank of Symmetra, maybe a little bit power drunk. But, you know, sometimes it's pretty worth it. There we go, though. I mean, we see a huge fire strike getting rid of the enemy Sim. But then E cube goes the down without the Ryan, EQ. and they're yeah, just the, all the trapped turrets. in the garden. Y oh, okay. It's Wait so a minute. Difficult to push in through that point, and then a great wall coming out from Ward to segment off the team. With G gets another kill onto Kanjita here. Uh, are they going to be able to fight their way back into this Grim Rhino, picking up a kill on the Lucio, one of the supports? That's a big deal. And Window is oh, going to come my. out just to assert their dominance in this fight. A great fire strike coming out from Grim Rhino, and that will end the fight there. Uh, they did use the Window, but they've still got four ults available to them. I like the use there. Just clean up the fight. Uh, uh, let's get into this one last fight right like yeah. let, let's let's set up let's get all of our resources back and fight one last time now a lot of ults coming up in this one i mean we got the blizzard i, th I just think that like uw definitely with the ults they have online this is going to be a, kind of their fight to lose right now 
Here comes the window, gonna start things off. Watch the flank. From Axel, yeah, where is the window? Behind. It's from behind. What is going on over here? It's a huge, oh, it's a huge wall though. Look at that. Bastion gonna be trying to do some damage with his ultimate here, but an even more perfect sound barrier in response. No kills taken oh. so far, and then there's two the coming out from, uh, uh, from UW. Is it enough? It's a counter shatter. It doesn't exactly. look like it is going to be enough. Oh, it was so close though. It was so close. It that had the mistake. chance. It had a chance of turning things around, but so much loss on the side of Aimless Esports. They weren't able to, to to get things together and pull out a victory there in the end. Uh, and that's two maps going in the favor uh, of UW Whitewater White. They are looking really, really good right now. They are, yes. Yeah, honestly, uh, Team Uwu looking pretty good at the moment. Sorry, I should still say UW. <laughs> <laughs> UW. My bad, UW. <laughs> Looking pretty clean right now. They took that map uh, 100 to zero, um, so mm -hmm. pretty good. Like not not bad at all. And maybe maybe it's a little bit of stage fright from um, Aimless Esports here. Maybe we don't really know. Um, this is the first time I think they have been on uh, on the feature match camera. So hopefully, what I'm thinking here, hopefully, is uh, Saber their coach is going to be able to to kind of give them that confidence they need to come through on this last map of Li Zhang, right? And in give them that confidence they need to win this map cuz like when they win this map, they're going to do better throughout the scrim, right? Like throughout this scrim, it's just going to be better for them. They're going to have like that uh, sort of momentum inside of them. Like as a competitor myself, it is devastating getting shut out so early on into the match. It can really really affect your mental. So yeah. they want they want a, a, a nice win here. It would be huge for them. Uh, right off the bat, I do see uh, UW rocking the Fara going into this next match. The Farmer, say. Really, really yep. like that. Uh, Aimless has been leaning on uh, this Bastion, this this Symmetra, these more immobile comps. Uh, one good Fara rocket off the side could be devastating early on for Aimless. Uh, yeah. I'd be interested in seeing if they take that uh, that right bridge path or they if they go to the left of the, the more secure... Uh, path towards the point. Uh, I imagine they would go towards the left, especially with Bastion and Symmetra. Although it does look like we're seeing a swap here onto the Junkrat, no, I mean, which I do think is good. Yeah, I mean, the, okay, the Junkrat, iffy, though. I mean, if you really look yes. at the Pharmacy on the other side, I mean, this could go really awry for Aimless Esports. They're going to go directly to point. They're going to play back a point. I mean, obviously, they're playing the Sim. That's what they're going to do here. They're going to immediately just speed over to the window, TP the window, and then play the point. And the other side, not playing the sim, they're going to play for spammy. And look at Butter Nugget on the soldier, and trying to flank from the other side. Could actually get a nice helix rocket onto one of the squishies in the back here, back a point. That's what he's kind of looking for, right but now. just not finding what he needs to find. They're got to play the slow fight here. UW with this pokier comp, they just need to play a little bit slower here. And yeah, see, this isn't quite slow enough. And Kanjita able to get in there and find a couple of picks. And now, Aimless Esports is holding this over. And so the question is, if you're Ward, if you're with G Candy, do you stay on this pharmacy? And I think the answer is yes, you just have to play a little bit slower, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I do like the pincer maneuver that they went for there, but first pick going the way of Aimless Esports kind of makes it all fall apart. You just don't have enough resources to take a three on five fight at that point, even with the soldier spraying in the back line. Uh, they do have to back out of that, uh, but I do agree. I think they got to play a little bit slower here, take their time. I like that the full team is together now. Farah's just going to be peppering so much damage in onto the point. Both invincibilities from Baptiste's used early here, so that's not going to be a resource uh -oh. they can lean on. Kanjita takes out uh -oh. Ward, but the res is successful in bringing that back, but now Rhino... Uh, eliminated by E cubed here. The Reinhardt ditto go in the way of aimless esports. What do you think? Like, as far as tank wise, I, I honestly, I'm not so sure Grim should be on the Reinhardt here just because of like how close forward he has to play and when he could be playing Ramatra and just like spamming a little bit more, you know? And I think just something that plays a little, little bit more range, I think might be a little bit better in this scenario. We see though, we see this huge barrage coming from behind and that's exactly what you want to see from Ward here. Finally using like, just using their ults to like get through this situation that's been tough for them. And on the other side, they still have the wall, right? And so 
so what they're probably going to do is hold on to the sim they're probably going to drop the wall tp in and then they're just going to take back a point again and it's really on uw at this point to make sure that they don't get that for free and so they need to play their ults right to just counter their attempt to go back a point and it doesn't look like they've totally done that except that butter nugget did get a kill war did get oh. a, off the cliff kill on axel is actually insane a huge boop onto Axel there. That's going to change the face of this fight, and for sure UW is going to be able to hold on. I do agree. Uh, I, I think the Reinhardt could be a little bit of a liability <laughs> with all of that damage coming in onto that shield. We oh saw last, uh, that, that previous fight, uh, not this most recent one, but the one before that where uh, Aimless Esports had to lose the point. Uh, mm -hmm. The shield damage was just immense. It was too much. Reinhardt had to back out of the fight, and that gave an opportunity for one of those supports to be picked off pretty early on. Uh, now we do see them regroup. They're going to take this left side. They've got okay. four, five ultimates to work with here. I'd like to see them pop them early and try to take this back. Yeah, I mean, what I love here is they're holding them back from being able to get into the back of the point. Double window comes through, fire strike comes oh, through, and you... it's just bigger. It's oh! just bigger on Aimless's side, though. E-Cubed picks up a massive fire strike kill through that window. Grim Rhino says, I can do that too, does the same. And E-Cubed <laughs> has to come through with the one-up, getting a second fire strike kill through that, that window. Was huge. huge. I like that. They used the window early, right? Uh, 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 <laughs> they even ba they even got the, the second window out of uh, uh, UW and the, the tire there, which ended up being pretty ineffective. Uh, they still have four ultimates to work with here, and uh, we're coming so close to the end of the fight. I, I, I say let's not be too uh -oh, conservative uh -oh. with them. Let's, let's let him rip. Ward uh -oh. somehow dies, falls off the map perhaps? Oh no, I was watching that perspective. We don't talk about it. Anyway. Oh. Uh, there comes the shatter. Does pick up a kill in response. There's a shatter, but doesn't quite pick up as much as you wanted to see there. There's a big Symmetra shield. That's going to keep give so shot. much safety. But oh. watch the trap. Symmetra does get trapped for a second there. It's a nice shatter coming out in response from EQ. And Aimless Esports does manage to pick up a map victory. They will not go silently into the night. Wait, at the end there, did it say UW? Oh, yeah, UW won the match because they went yeah, to the Yeah, UW gotcha, did gotcha, win gotcha. the map. Yeah. Or yeah, uh, yes. did win the, uh, the, the, yeah, the map just now. Right. The, the round. Yes. I love to see that, though. We saw, I think, uh, a little bit of a kind of like adaptation there, I think, from Aimless mm -hmm. Esports, and that they were able to just kind of like. It, well, I don't know. They won the map. That's that's all I'm saying. They won the map. That's yeah. how they're going to have the momentum as they go throughout the scrim into, into all these other maps. And so. That's going to be exciting. One thing I really like is that they were able to make the junk rat work and they were able to play that back up yeah. so well. Um, and all together, like I, I thought they were going to struggle. I actually thought they were going to struggle because of the pharmacy, but it, it they didn't. And that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, they held their ground really well. They set up on point very, very firmly. Uh, they they did stick to that Reinhardt the whole time. They wanted that shield, and I I do. It does make sense, right? You have uh you have these these squishier uh backline units. You've got the junk rat. Uh, having the ability to set up that Reinhardt on point and spam uh, and give your team protection so that the Farah can't do all that that damage. The soldier can't deal all that damage. And as long as they get the first pick, uh, then they've got a, a great opportunity to win the fight. Uh, that's exactly the that's exactly the the strategy that they stuck to, and it worked out really well in the end. Yeah, 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 absolutely, it worked out really well. Wow. Okay. It does look like we are going to see Eichenwald here. Eichenwalde. Uh, or as uh, E-Cubed said, funny German map. Funny uh, German which map. <laughs> basically the same, right? Yeah, uh, same. That's just another way to say it. So uh, I love this. I'm a big fan of Eichenwald, uh, one of my favorite maps in the game. Uh, let's, uh, let's see how this works out for, for Aimless here. Oh, we need to finish the prediction too, by the way, I think. Yes, uh, yeah. I, I already finished it. Oh, you did? Go ahead and start the next one. Oh, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Unfortunately, everyone bet on Aimless, Aimless. Esports. Oh, so, so lots of channel no points No one walked lost. away with points. Economy yeah. has been stabilized as everyone loses all of their points. Rip your points. <laughs> oh, no. Not all of your points. Wow. Okay, so we're going to get another Rip. prediction going up there. And also... Um, Eichenwald, one of my favorite maps. I really like the mm -hmm. first point of Eichenwald. I think there's so much room for creativity on this first point. I mean, you can do all kinds of teleport strats. You can run through the forest lane. You can run over the, the rooftop. There's lots of ways to mm -hmm. defend it. And it really, I don't know, especially in this elo, anything can happen. And that's what I really like about it.
I I love it for the exact same reasons. You've got all kinds of goofy tech that you can use on this map. There's a, a wide range of characters that you can use on this map too, right? Yeah. Um, we saw some Faro. We saw some Bastion. I wouldn't be surprised if we see those again uh, on this map. I'm I'm excited to see what we we pull out here, especially from uh, especially from UW. Uh, I'm I'm very excited to see what they uh, what they do here with uh, uh, what they do here with their scrims and their in their uh, their team comps. What do you think? I almost I, they definitely bring another pharmacy into this, right? Like this is like well maybe not. I don't know. I feel like they will. I mean, yes, maybe pharmacy didn't quite work so well in the last map they just did, but this I th I feel like pharmacy's pretty good here. So, you know, I'm of the opinion at this ELO if you have a strong pharmacy, run pharmacy until oh, yeah. they prove that they can handle it, right? I, until I remember. they prove yes. that they are capable of of defending against a pharmacy, uh then go it. Do the comfort pick. Farah is really, really good at this level, oh, right? Yeah. Um, I, I'm a, I big, clockworks. I'm a big proponent of it. You remember Clockworks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys didn't get to see my Farah too much yeah. in the last LFGS tournament because we had uh, uh, we had some other players on Plant King that were a little bit more flexible than I am on gotcha. DPS. I'm a bit of a Farah one trick, uh -huh, same. Uh, if you will. Actually, I so. kind of started becoming a somber one trick. I almost don't want to admit that live on yeah. stream. <laughs> <laughs> but oh that's my god pretty, you know that's what? pretty rough oh, it's pretty i know you just got a subscriber might might have want to kept that one quiet yeah a little saying, quiet there saying. my bad you know <laughs> i just like it's just a, it, it just became like you know i just kind of want to be more teleporty i just want to be i just want to yeah. be tactical and i don't know it's just i just wanted to see how high i could climb with uh mm -hmm. sombra only and i was i was actually able to hit plat on dps as like a sombra main nice. and that took a long nice. time and that took like I don't know. I I must have put about thirty plus hours into just playing somber a lot. Mm -hmm. and getting. I will say before that. this most recent kind of break from Overwatch that I took, uh, that kind of ended somewhat recently. I did. Everyone, hold your applause. <laughs> did manage to hit diamond on tank. Everyone, I know. Hold, I know. I know. Amazing. I'm that guy. What can I say? Amazing. Shanghai Dragons, listen, call me, all right? Call me. <laughs> I'm available. Hey, Sorry, let's game. go. <laughs> Very good. I didn't I didn't hit Diamond on tank. I think I hit, like, Plat 2 or Plat 1, and then my best is support. I, I hit Diamond 3 on that one. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think I'm Diamond. I'm not Diamond 3 anymore. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you know, I played, before I played on PC, I played on console. Oh, shit. Uh, and I... Um, I was diamond immediately on console. Oh, and then nice. when I switched to PC, this was like when the Overwatch first came out. Oh, yeah. When I switched to PC, uh, they put me in silver. And Oof. I was like, there is no way wow. I was diamond on console and silver on PC. And my, my friend Bananas was like, oh, well, the competition's a little bit tougher on PC. And I was like, no, True. no that way it's not. Uh, it took me five years to get back to diamond. But hey, you know what? We did it. It's a good path. It. it was a fun path. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the that's all that matters. I proved myself. What am I seeing here? This is interesting. Okay, we're gonna see Sparrow coming on the widow. Like, okay, that's interesting. Oh, I am definitely wanting to see. I'm gonna Sparrow's watch. I'm gonna watch right some now. Sparrow. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hello. Sparrow's Hello. saying hello to us right now. That's fantastic. Hiya. Hello. Excellent. We've got stuff. a ward on the Sojourn as well. I really like the Sojourn on this map. She can play yes. at basically any range, right? So, and this no, I agree. I can vault a map where Hello. you're going to be playing really close. You're going to be playing from really far. Uh, having that versatility there is, is really nice. So I, I do like the Sojourn a lot. And once again, Kanjita on the Bastion. Yeah, I think, like, like I said, I think Bastion is just like, it's just seeing a lot more play. Like, I have not been following the meta. But I have noticed people playing some Bastion, a lot of Bastion actually, like more than I've ever expected, and we're seeing it now even in scrims, um, quite a lot, I guess. I mean, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. So uh, we, are, I, I, it looks like a mainstay, um, and, and especially against. I just, I just kind of feel like if I'm a tank and I'm not playing Diva, it it hurts. Right. Yeah, you know what, and and you know what, Bastion's been bad for so long. Give it's Bastion time. just give Bastion a meta. Give we can one. nerf him in three months, and it'll three be fine. Months. 
Like, Please make it. Too okay, maybe wide. maybe a little. Yeah, maybe a little too long. All right, let's uh, let's give him a little less time than that. But give him a meta, just you know, just for a little while, just for a little while. All right, here's the shot. Here's the shot. Here, here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it from. Oh, right back there. He Close tried. He was. It was no a good, good little flick shot. He's just gonna go switch off of the widow now. He's gonna go to something else. I imagine still something range. All right, he's gonna go for the sojourn. I think that's a good swap here from uh, Sparrowman. I think so too. So immediately you see the uh, the sojourn, or excuse me, the uh, the sigma coming out from uh, from the side of UW. They're going to be rocking the sigma into the uh, uh, Ramatra, and I do like that. We were talking about Ramatra in the last map, how Ramatra could fit well with this with Aimless Esports' composition. Another kill coming out from Butter Nugget, just oh, spamming bad. these rockets around the corner. But Kanjita fires back in response. It's a four-on-four -four fight. And UW does have spawn advantage here. They're going to take a second to regroup, and I'd love to see them push in on this. You know, um, I believe the teams have swapped colors, just by the way. Yes. Yes, and I, I've just now noticed that. <laughs> okay, so they swapped colors on me. That's a little bit weird. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll yeah, try I to believe, reorient uh, my mind. I, I believe Aimless Esports said that they wanted to defend on this map, so they oh, ended okay. up swapping colors there, so... Apologies for the inconvenience. Kanjita coming in with that turret form and just dealing so much damage through all of that. We got a really scrappy fight right now. Sojourn does get picked off by the Junkrat, but a lot of damage coming in from that Bastion ult. It's not good enough. Oh. The window just preventing UW from being able to push in right now, and Ward gets a pick onto Bastion as they retreat. So this is like, yeah, like once Junk starts really kind of playing a lot on defense here and, and like really getting a lot of value, don't you, like this is where I switched to far and I see Kanjita right mm -hmm. now thinking just like I am like this, Junk better not exist anymore. And this is where I'm hoping to see Kanjita, oh, what is happening? I keep hitting the wrong button there. There we go. Okay. So here's Farah, but it looks like a little bit of a ground far, which is interesting. I, sh I was expecting to see this like go more over the roof. Here we go. This is getting some hype now. Gotta play around. It's not a lot of healing for the Kanjita, right? Uh, for uh, uh, for Kanjita on this far right now, right? You've got the Lucio, you've got the Bastion, but none of those are going to provide a lot of air support for the right. Farah. Regardless, I do think it's still a good pick. Lots of damage being dropped in on those supports. Invincibility having to be used by Baconator. So much pressure onto him. That's two. Uh, that's one pick going the way of UW right now, and a Transcendence coming out just to try and stabilize. It's going to be really effective in doing just that. But watch out, the Zenyatta in a really vulnerable spot. But will Ramatra be able to take him out? It doesn't look like he can. Anaconda taking out the Lucio, and now it's just E cubed fighting all by himself. He's got the, the Baptiste with him, but they both fall to the hands of aimless esports. Uh, they are holding up a really, really right. good defense now with just one minute left on the clock. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, UW right now, I'm really liking the Sigma. They are holding this really well. Um, and aimless, I think, is just kind of struggling like i think you know with this ramatra ramatra really does want to make sort of positional progress throughout like the map like you don't want to sit there and spam forever as rom because the spam isn't actually that good um and so here i think they just need to go quickly like they really need to use this lucio and go quickly um and get around that sort of corner and just try to find brawl distance so that oh, ramatra the get value but oh my god butter butter nugget Coming in with the goods, and here comes a dragon. I don't even think they really needed this dragon. It does pick up Sparrow Main, though. Just gonna be oh, so much know. pressure, and now, oh man, if you're if you're UW, you gotta get out of here. You gotta reset. You got 15 seconds left on the clock. You have one chance to poke, but you can't get picked off now. Watch the Ramatra. This would be huge if they lose, and Kanjita gets picked off there too. And there goes the Ramatra. There goes the Lucio. Oh. Aimless Esports is looking at a full hold on Eichenwald. As UW is holding. Oh, yeah, hey, you, what? UW is blue now. Oh my god, was I making that yeah. mistake the whole time? <laughs> oh no, I would just said that they swapped and I'm so stupid. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Right. Uh, UW is blue. You know, yeah, I had to reorient myself too. And I'm like, right? oh. Yeah, you know, we delete it's the footage. Mid. Someone like, someone in the chat right there, just delete the footage for us, all right? We didn't do that. That was, yeah. yeah. I'm trying Let's my best do, here. If it's we hard. could just get, if we could get like a like a clip of me saying here we'll do this <laughs> uw whitewater white aimless esports academy now if, if someone in chat can go through clip yeah. those sound effects and place them over where i said the other teams in the vod raise your hand if you have garage good. band exactly totally Get in there. good yeah pretty much <laughs> 
Oh my God! What a hold from UW Whitewater. White. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna take this first map over Aimless Esports Academy. Aimless Esports. <laughs> like so robotic and monotone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's gonna be funny. Okay, you know. Also, this is a scrim, so even mm -hmm. if the p first point is captured, we're still gonna play out the whole map, right? Um, yes. So don't be shocked if you see them like cap this first point here, and you don't see an instant win happen. That's not how scrims work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna see now. Uh, UW is gonna be on the attack. They're staying with the sigma. And I think the sigma was actually just like really, really powerful. Like. The Sigma through that whole time was so much spam. And if you think about like where Aimless Esports had difficulty in that last map, it just seemed like they couldn't live through the spam long enough to make the play they wanted to make. A lot of like just being anxious to make a play. A lot of like they just like what I really wanted to see um, E Cube to do the entire time was just to place a really forward shield with Ramatra and amp speed in and just get on that Sigma's ass. If they were to have done yeah. that, I think that would have been the play to make, but just too much spam and too much anxiety from the Aimless Esports team here to to really like make the play they really wanted to make, make the play they, like, they just didn't have the confidence to do what I think they know they needed to do, but they just didn't do it. Unfortunate. Yeah, and on the side of UW here, you do see the Fara coming out, and it, it's important to note not a lot of pressure for that Fara on the side of Aimless Esports. They've got a Symmetra with a Symmetra turret set up. They've got a May that's going to be. They're really playing around this first choke, this white choke that's so important on Eichenwald. Uh, but uh, just not a ton of, of pressure onto the Farah. I'm, I'm a little concerned about what happens <laughs> if the Farah does fly over point, take out those turrets, right? It, it may spell trouble for uh, for aimless esports. <laughs> for, um, Had to take, it took me a second. I was like, e oh gosh, which one is which? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm excited to see what is going to happen with this Life Weaver because I haven't seen Life Weaver in... I don't know. I just haven't seen him much. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the poll on Farah is. Are we gonna get some like trolling happening here? Oh, Butter yeah. Nugget it gonna can... get like <laughs> trolled? Up? It's it's a shame too, right? Because he's such a cool character. Wife Lever, life. Oh no. Wife Lever. You said it. You said it. Wife Lever. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Life Weaver is such an interesting character, has so many really powerful tools, uh, but powerful tools that could, if used wrong, could really land your, your team in hot water, right? So, uh, uh, not to borrow a, a meme from the Super Smash Bros. Melee community, but a skilled Life Weaver can beat any team comp, all right? A skilled, really? <laughs> skilled, uh, in Super Hot Smash Bros. Today. Melee. Okay. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, we like to say a skilled Roy could beat any fox. Uh, okay. And that okay. may not uh, be true, but <laughs> it's all about true. belief. It's all about belief. It may not be true, but it is true. <laughs> Uh-oh. It looks like Nihilus might have disconnected. <laughs> Is really special. Oh. Oh, there you are. Can you hear back. me? Yes, I can hear you. You kind of popped out. There we go. There. But we got you back. Sorry about that. All good. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, here's, you know, uh, Life Weaver, uh, like I said, has has the potential to pop off and make big plays. Uh, we'll, we'll see if, uh, uh, oh, of course, now we're off the Life Weaver. So Baconator deciding that's not the move. Not the Unfortunate move. Unfortunate but... for all of us, but. You know what happens? Are we now we have a Reaper May comp, a Reaper May brawl coming from uh, Aimless Esports here on the defense, and this can hold for a long time. But look at the far; they've already got like pretty much the the scariest boogeyman of this strategy, where Reaper is almost dead already and has to retreat into that room, and it already looks like. UW has so much space, although the Sigma's way too far forward there, could really die. Honestly, Sigma shouldn't live through that, but lives with the lamp pretty interesting baconator does go down it's still nah yeah no okay this is this is definitely one for aimless esports right here widow just in a very interesting spot though <laughs> gets fire struck <laughs> it gets out sniped by a reinhardt unfortunate it's a classy act from that support there, dying for his tank, but of course that tank died shortly thereafter. Well, no, Anaconda actually survived that fight, was the lone survivor of that fight. Uh, yeah. And 
and yeah, uh, Aimless Esports off to a really good start. Uh, I I would like to see a swap from Ward as much yes. as we all love yeah, to junk watch rat. the the Widowmaker. Uh, she's Ooh. Widowmaker's just not getting a lot of mileage up, up against this Reinhardt shield and and the great positioning coming out from Aimless Esports. Yeah, and uh, Anaconda there really just like this is not a brawl comp. I don't. Like, he really is trying to just walk straight through into that May wall and has got to gotta be really careful about it. I love the swap off Sigma into uh, the the Ramatra here. I think that's really good. Axel already uh, does not have a lamp for this fight, although ults are online here. We could see now um, a window coming up. they got to do something about the Phara. Phara is definitely an issue where kind of Axel's the only hit scan that can do much about it. This oh. is potentially big. The ice block comes out. No... No deaths, it looks like, until Sparrow finally, there's one death on the floor. And there we have Blizzard Shatter coming down. Oh, so many ults used on the side of Aimless Esports, but it's all worth it in the end when Kanjita gets two big picks right there. Should be enough to turn this fight around, but you do gotta watch for the spawn of the side of UW. They're gonna get back into this fight really quickly. And I do think Aimless needs to play a little safe here than they are. They're gonna hide behind that. They're, they're, they're gonna turtle behind that shield, get their healing back up, get their resources back up, and prepare for this next fight, which is gonna start early with a very preemptive lamp that gets taken out real soon. Watch the, the wall coming out from May here. Ramatra forced to pop the ult. He just straight goes in. Anaconda oh, no. does manage to pick up a kill. He's getting a little bit away from his team. He's going He's so super low. deep. He is gonna... How is he not dead? How, How is, is he, he not dead right now? Butter Nugget getting Ooh. a pick. Ward as well, and they're gonna win this fight. I cannot believe wow. that. Well, Anaconda goes in so deep on negative 7 HP. Doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> and we see like Ward swapping to the Echo there. Huge heads up play. But at this point, you have got to go Mercy. Now you've got double flyer. I really recommend a Mercy right here if you are on the side of Aimless Esports. Sorry, uh, is that Aimless? It's, it's UW. On the side of UW here. <laughs> UW. <laughs> UW. Oh my God. I think it's a classic example of bend, don't break, uh, break. And, and I do think in that situation, it would have been good for Aimless Esports to bend just a little bit. You saw yeah. the Ramatra go around the side, picking on your Reinhardt, right? Mm -hmm. And he's low, uh, but Aimless Esports doesn't want to give up that that choke. They they don't want to give it up at all costs. They see the, the Reaper coming through, the May coming through, and they don't want to give it up, and they ended up paying for it. Now we see a Blizzard coming out real early from the May, and they do manage to get a pick onto Anaconda. Oh. That's going to force a lot of the team back. What a shot from Kanjita right, right there. Clicked. Oh, onto Baconator. Kanjita. Oh my god, a 3k oh. from Kanjita. A 4k! Keep going! Oh what my god! That? What was that? Turn off the aimbot. I was spectating you, dude. What? <laughs> he double tapped the echo out of the sky. Like, that was kill number four. That He's was right wild. Clicked. That was sick from Kanjita. Wow. Those spending icicles so are not time. easy to hit. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, they are not. No, no, spending so much time on the on the Bastion. I love seeing the May so far. We do have a, a Kiriko ult coming out early. They're just gonna use this to uh, to push forward. And now we see Aimless playing that Ben Don't Break, right? The the what exactly what I was talking about earlier. Now I do see the Reaper way off in the back line. That is what he's supposed to do, but Ward gonna go and pick him too off. Far. They are yeah. now uh, 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 they are now one teammate oh, oh. down. The Shatter comes through. It does pick up two, but a great Kiriko, uh, uh, a great Kiriko and Vince right there. And Butter Nugget picks up three. Yeah. So at what point do you like switch to more hit scan here? Because like Reaper May is good, but like this is Eichenwald second. And the reason I feel like uh, you do oh, okay, <laughs> no, but just went in. Just the went most in, just hopeful, <laughs> the most hopeful <laughs> Reaper ult I've ever seen. <laughs> I love Cav's I comment. It. Cav says Kajita eats nails for breakfast without any milk. Are Aimless so even going to be able to touch here? It doesn't look like they will. Oh, and they're going to give up that point for free. Ward picks off the Lucio in the process. Oh my god. Okay. Ouch. We do see Kanjita swapping over to the Cassidy to start to deal with the flyer in the air here. Ward is no longer on the Echo, by the way. Ward, after getting icicled, double icicled by the mate. <laughs> Just kind of rage swap to Hanzo. That's definitely the play. That's 100% I'd, I'd swap the play. Too. Mind After that, that so I'd swap sweaty. too. So true. All right, here's a big window here in the Bastion oh. coming through. Does manage to get a pick onto Butter Nugget. Oh. He's got a nice lamp, but Kenjita is just yes. tearing through. 
everyone what right now, and the Ramatra ult comes out too! <laughs> Ward having to escape with his life, it does look like he's gonna get out of there, but what a 4k again from Kanjita! Kanjita, absolute smurf town over here, just laying the groundwork for success for the entire team. Anaconda, I'm so sorry you used the Annihilation there, I, I really wish you didn't, it's really unfortunate. Um, that would have been really good in this position right here. Right now, though, you do have Window on your side over here from uh, Aimless Esports. Sorry, from UW side. So let's see how they're going to use that. a lot of ults here. They don't really have anything to contest the Window. They're just going to have to give it up once the Window comes out. And we do see they're taking their time right now. They want to hold on to it for as long as possible, and justly so. Why even use it unless a big shatter comes Ooh. out? Right here from E-Cube, they do manage to get a pick off of it. Baconator goes down early in this fight. Now the Reinhardt just charging in, but he's gonna pay for it with his life. Ward picks him off. Sparrowmane picking off one of the supports in the back line. It does look like uh, Aimless Esports is gonna hold here, but man, it was close. Oh, Kenji is ruthless with it. Not letting Butter Nugget get away there. Like, he's not gonna get away with his life. Kills him mid-air as he's junk ma junk rat mining through the air there. It's pretty savage. Oh my god. What an emotional uh, game. This is crazy here from for UW. For real, EQ charges in there is just a little bit too far. I was a little concerned with the tank battle, but uh, Kanjita holding down the front as that Bastion. Who needs a tank when you've got a tank, if you know what I'm saying? Oh Big. yeah, here we go. Oh, Here's dragon the dragon. Strike. He's gonna put him in there, but then we're gonna immediately see Kanjita go absolutely oh, insane. So I could imagine it right here. Baptista's really low though. Look at the oh, lamp too, the, the lamp is perfect. It's absolutely incredible from UW right now. They're moving in. Here's oh, possibly a nice reaper roll that does manage to pick up both supports. And while it was such a good play, Butter Nugget <laughs> comes out with a 2K on the tire. Is anyone from Aimless gonna be able to touch? No, it's not touching. gonna happen, oh, UW. My. Butter Nugget with a huge tire to end things. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, these are good. These are good games. I enjoy these are this good one. games. Yeah, they are. Some interesting wow. stuff being happening here. I this is super entertaining. I love like the big moments. Um, overall, like I just man, these are this is actually pretty crazy. Exactly, I, Muck, This is a crazy match. Absolutely. I adored the coordination from UW at the end there, right? They dragon strike to force Aimless Academy into that corner, into that then they corner. pull out the window. And even more so, now there's just no peeking that's capable from Aimless Esports. Uh, then you've got the lamp around the corner, just to make sure if there are any peekers. If Kanjita wants to poke around that corner for just a brief second with the Bastion, yeah. that's not going to result in any real damage. However, once that lamp comes down, we see a really great play from Sparrowmane, right? Pulls out that Reaper ult, Manages to get both supports, That's but huge. Butter Nugget yeah. with just, just the will of a god comes through <laughs> with that rip tire at the end. That was sick. What a oh, amazing final fight there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy like rewatching this mod. Actually, there's just some great moments from this Iconwall game that I'm definitely gonna want to go back. I want to look at that. That is gonna be a fun one to watch. Okay, mm -hmm. so looking onto this next one, I don't know what map is gonna be next, but um, we're gonna have to throw up another prediction. You get another prediction up there. And yeah, we do uh, see a win there from UW Whitewater White. So yeah. all of our aimless esports fans in the chat are looking a little broke right now. I don't want to say it, but I might yeah, go. I might be seeing some traders in the chat. Just saying. <laughs> some traders in the Which chat. Which do you value more? Which do you value more? Do you value your loyalty to aimless esports? Yeah, or do your you value points? the sweet, sweet channel points? Oh. You're gonna have to make a decision, chat. Yeah, the channel points obviously are <laughs> indispensable, worth way more than loyalty. Points mm -hmm. are greater than all. Yes, you know, I completely agree with that assessment. Um, but at the same time, you know, I feel like, okay, Li Zhang, it definitely felt in the favor of UW. And yes, Eichenwald did as well. But on that last map, especially with what we just saw Kenjita do, I mean... There's there's still some bettability on uh, on Academy here. I mean, like, I feel like this is the game where they come back. This is where the reverse sweep yeah. happens. You know, it's like you got to root for the underdog. And so I still think points into Aimless Esports here is a decent bet. Um, and so, you know, just keep that in mind as you're putting in, you're plugging into your predictions. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, 
though UW has definitely uh, uh, looked really strong in this set so far, I do think Aimless Academy has the capacity to come back in this match. They have absolutely been putting up a great fight. Uh, and I wouldn't be shocked to see the momentum swing back into their favor with some, some you know, interesting comps, with, with some changes to, to the, the dynamic of how these matches are being played. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them work their way back into this uh, into this set and maybe pull out a, a win in game three. A win in game three, like we, we could we could definitely see that. I would love to see that. Um, just after that Eichenwald game, I'm, I don't even care what the next map is. I'm just excited. Um, I would honestly, I would love to see uh, the new map type because like if I've, I've only played it like two or three times myself. I've never casted mm -hmm. that because it's so new. And the last time I really did any casting was like in May. So yeah. yeah, it's it's been a minute. And and I would I've never casted that one. That would be a fun one to to look at for us. That would be pretty fun. It does look as though uh we are heading to Suravasa for our next map, which would be uh, is... our new game mode. Yes. Uh, okay. I, I'm excited. Uh it, it functions very similarly to I don't know uh how many Call of Duty players we have in the chat but for those who remember old school black ops 2 hardpoint uh very very similar uh, uh style of match to that uh a lot of it depending on a lot of it is preparing uh, preparing for where that next point yes. is going to pop up on the map uh and also a little bit of rng and praying things go your way right, right. you don't get a really terrible spawn um mm -hmm. so it, it's a fun map I, i'm very excited to i'm very excited to cast it as well Yes. So what I really like about, um, is it called Flashpoint? Is that what the game mode is called? Flashpoint, yes. Okay, yeah. The one thing I really like about Flashpoint is the decision of where you want the next fight to be because it's really, it can be like based on your team comp and you, you not only have to like know where you want the fight to be, but I think it just, it, it takes a lot of skill in looking at what the enemy team is playing and trying to predict where they want to play because then you can kind of like do a dirty move on them. You can like sneak up and do something a little bit creative. And I think that like potential for creative play and like where the fight's going to happen is why Flashpoint is so exciting for me. Um, just because, yeah. you know, I'm so used to like the Eichenwald and the Li Zhang of the world where like I've seen it a million times. I, you know, there's only one place the fight really happens. We, we've we seen it a million times. We know how it kind of flows and everyone's like used to it. Everyone's really good at it, like really good. And they all yeah. know the meta, right? But like here, it's not so easy. And that is what's super exciting mm -hmm. to me about it. There's a controlled sense of randomness to yes. it, right? That mm -hmm. allows for, you know, we've been playing Overwatch since it came out, really. Right. Uh, so we've seen those fights and how they progress on King's Row, on Eichenwald, on Li Zhang, whatever it might be, so many times. Uh, but because of this little bit of a random factor in Flashpoint, it creates situations that are wholly unique, right? Uh, and it keeps the game mode feeling really, really fresh. Uh, I know some players aren't crazy about it. Overwatch, uh, hey, I'll say it. Overwatch players, we tend to like to complain. Uh, mm -hmm. But I've really enjoyed Flashpoint a lot so far. And uh, I, I think it provide something very needed to overwatch competitive yeah no I, I i agree with you i i when the few times i have actually played flashpoint has been um has been pretty fun i i definitely like the game mode um i don't know if it's like i don't know if that's like an unpopular opinion i don't know if it's like oh it's just the next two cp or something i don't know i like it i think it's a really cool game mm -hmm. mode um so yeah i'm excited to see it i'm excited uh getting in here so yeah um yeah, so, so we a lot do of have swaps. Some swaps right uh, I did see that. we're gonna see grim rhino coming back in uh obviously was really really great on that reinhardt in the first map uh we're also seeing uh uh we're also seeing butter nugget hit the bench who i think has been playing really really well today in comes yoger one yoger wunch yoger wunch <laughs> that's a pretty good name <laughs> that's a great name uh, coming in in place of uh, Butter Nugget, and then Burby uh, coming in in place of uh, Whiff G. Uh, so uh, I assume we won't be seeing that Lucio as much because Whiff G was playing a, that Lucio predominantly. Mm -hmm. uh, 
we won't be seeing as much of maybe a hit scan coming in from Burby. I wouldn't, or uh, from Yoger Wunsch. I, I wouldn't be surprised there. Mm-hmm. And probably a return to this Reinhardt as well with Grim Rhino. But, or perhaps he pulls out a different tank that we haven't seen yet. What do you think? Like, I've only played Servasa one time, so I have no idea mm-hmm. what like meta looks like or like what tanks are good on it. What, is Reinhardt good on Servasa? I think Reinhardt is good wherever you take him, to be honest. Uh, I, I think. Really? I think Reinhardt is just a static character, right? He has a very, I, I think, let me let me phrase it like this. If you've got the team, the right team behind Reinhardt. Right, this I is scrims. Good, this no is not what. quick play, right? And so no, yeah, I get right. that. When if the communication is in. Comp, yeah. If you get that brawl comp with the Reinhardt, I think it doesn't really matter too much where you're going. Obviously, there are maps where he's going to be weaker. I don't think this is uh, a map that, Reinhardt is particularly weak on, okay. uh, and so I, I think he'll be just fine. Okay, yeah, and, and there's no guarantees that Grim Rhino even plays Reinhardt. It just seems like he really liked to True. play Reinhardt on Lei Jang. And He's so, got the Reinhardt yeah. player icon, so that's <laughs> what True. I assume. True. Although I would love to see some creativity. Maybe we'll see something else. Maybe we'll see a wrecking ball. You know, I haven't I haven't seen a wrecking ball in a while. Tiny donut rating with seven people. Oh my god, yo! I still have your emote, dude. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, my God. Spam the Tiny, the Dota, tiny emote. Dota emote. Let's go. Yo, that is huge. Thank you so much for the raid. This is awesome. I'd love to see you. Oh, thank you for the subscription, too. You're so awesome. Okay. <laughs> because I think it's subscribing just to, <laughs> just to get access to that emote again. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Shwayne. a good emote. <laughs> it's a good emote. How are you, Welcome Shwayne? I love guys. you, too, Tiny Dota. Welcome in, guys. We've got a good match here starting uh, match three between Aimless Esports Academy and UW Whitewater White. Uh, UW Whitewater White currently up 2 0 in the set count. We are going to Suravasa. Uh, seeing if uh, Aimless Esports Academy, uh, the winners, uh, Aimless Esports, of course, the winners of our most recent LFGS tournament. Uh, let's see if their academy uh. team can turn things around in our third match here uh, on Flashpoint. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sam and Sam says, let's go, Almond. Are we really bringing back the Almond? Almond! Man? Not the Almond, man. Let's go. Oh, my God. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> I believe we are, like, Tiny Donut says that uh, we're handsome, just by the way. Oh, Tiny Donut you, and Tiny Schwain Donut. jumped into chat. Let's go. Hell yeah, Kev. <laughs> Tiny Donut, how was your stream, buddy? Yes, hope how was your stream? I hope you had a good one. What, what were you streaming? Were you streaming Overwatch or were you, uh, I don't know, streaming like uh, on the toilet or something? I don't know. What do people do these days? Hey, what, is that the meta? The current <laughs> is that Twitch the meta? meta? <laughs> <laughs> on the dog. He's super on, on Minecraft. Nice. <laughs> on the Minecraft. Nice. I respect that. You know, Overwatch is like, no, it's, it, it, I enjoy casting it. I don't really play it too much though myself. Mm. But casting is pretty fun. Watching is pretty fun. Watching other people pop off is awesome. It's just it'd be cool if I could pop off. That'd be kind of a different thing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and that's more. really where the problem always lies, isn't mm-hmm. it? All right, Indeed. we see our two teams coming to the center flashpoint here right off the bat. We have Ward on the Genji and then running into it E cubed on Zarya, which may end up being a little frustrating. <laughs> I know when I'm on Genji, that tends to be the case. And uh, we were we were alluding to maybe Gr- Grim Rhino playing a different character other than Reinhardt. And sure enough, we have the Winston here, which I think yes. is a pretty solid pick, but sh- Sparrow Man's going to be giving oh a lot my. of work on Reaper. Yeah, Kanjita gets a little bit too ambitious there. I love the confidence coming from Kanjita. That's exactly what I think Aimless Esports needs bringing in here, but unfortunately that might be just a little bit too much confidence. Grim seems pretty comfortable on other tanks besides Reinhardt, including this monkey, and is doing a good job at taking the space he needs to take and, uh, and getting the appeal to his team the way he needs to do. So it's been good to see. We see some energy. We'll see. It. How is EQ doing on energy right now? 99. Very high energy Zarya here. So this could be pretty big. 75% to grab. And Axel already has a window, which is pretty insane. Look at Ward reflecting that shot oh. from the Sojourn back at their own uh, Reaper. That was absolutely sick. And, and look at Grim Rhino right now, too, aggressing so well. You can always tell when a tank has the Ooh. utmost confidence in their healers. Look at that exactly, right? Grim Rhino playing towards the front line despite <gasps> being so low. That's going to be a big grab potentially, but a great shield from Grim Ooh. Rhino protecting the rest of the team. The grab isn't going to end up getting very much. And look, the aggression now just picking off those squishies to end this fight. 
I that love that. Huge. The supports are there for their tank when he needs it the most, and he can play with confidence knowing that. Definitely. It, do it definitely looks like Grim Rhino is putting a lot of faith into his supports, and rightfully so. I mean, the supports are doing, whoops, we're doing wonderful work here um, mm -hmm. for Grim Rhino. And that was a huge grab, by the way. Like, you know, huge, yeah. huge grab. Hitting four people on the grab there from E cubed. Really, really awesome timing there. Kanchita swapping over to the Bastion. All right. I Could be a pretty big play. Swap. Yes. I, I absolutely loved the swap onto the Bastion. Look. We've seen Kanjita play Bastion earlier. We know he's got a strength with it. And Winston is going to have such a difficult time pressing in when Kanjita is going to be piling so much damage onto that shield, onto that monkey's face. It's going to be really, really tough now for, for uh, UW to, to push in here. Zarya just going straight going in, in. And they are targeting the Winston hard. Out comes the Reaper ult. Not much coming out from it, though. Lamp used. Ward does manage to get a pick onto Sparrow Man, but this is going to be a done deal for Aimless Esports Academy. Yeah, I was I was actually, like, the entire time there, I was spectating Ward to see if he's going to go in for, like, a really nasty blade, and I still think he's going to do it next next one, but uh, did not there. Unfortunately, um, it looked like there was just so much spam there for, um, for is that you, Dub? I don't know. Which team is which? Oh, my God. <laughs> spam coming in from Aimless. Aimless. Uh, okay, yeah. Aimless. Right. Yeah, and they just couldn't find a dive target without having to go through all the spam. It looks like they're putting themselves in the same exact position. Here comes a pathway to the enlightenment. Hopefully they can walk in there. They are going to speed forward. It looks like Grim Rhino jumps up on top of the Bastion. He pulls off the Primal as well to make sure he doesn't die. Although E-Cube just picks off three in the wow. back line. Huge play from E-Cube there. Yeah, I'm going to need to see a, a swap here from Grim Rhino. The Winston yeah. looked really great to, to start things off, but now against a Reaper and a Bastion, it is oh, just yeah. not going to be worth it at this point. We do see him stay on the Winston, and I can't say that I agree necessarily. I don't agree with that. Yeah, but, I'll look at the uh, Reaper and the Bastion. Ooh, that's Like, I love Monkey. Don't get me wrong. I will pick Monkey mm -hmm. into so much shit, but, like, I will also uh, turn... Uh, I will also, like, get off Monkey when I'm playing against that. He's He's got weaknesses, you know? Uh, and that's all it is. Now, we do see, uh, right off the bat, UW uh, doing, uh, aggressing and taking this point as quickly as possible. But look who's there to greet Grim Rhino. It is Sparrow Man. It is Kanjita. And oh. so much damage being dealt to Grim Rhino. He has to back up. And now there's no tank presence on the point. Sound barrier being popped on either side. Both sides. But watch out. Bastion going to be dumping a lot of damage in with his ultimate right now. It's even, it's scrappy, and Yoger Wunsch gets a pick, but oh. Sparrow Man responds in kind with two picks onto the Winston, onto the Lucio. Here comes the blade oh from God, Ward. Sparrow. Can he turn this around somehow, some way? The lamp is going to provide just a little bit of protection. The bubbles are going to hurt as well, and it's not going to be pretty. It's just another fight win for Aimless Esports. Okay, hold on. Tiny Donut, clear chat for non monitor What are you doing? Enabled one Tiny month donut. follower. In <laughs> a little bit of a oopsie. It's a whoopsie of the daisy variety. What's going on here? I'm going to make sure. For, for those re-watching, our chat is an absolute mess <laughs> with prompts right now. Yeah, I just but don't know. Okay. It Hopefully. says you enabled 30 seconds slow mode, and I don't know how to unenable <laughs> that. <laughs> We do see a swap here on Grim Rhino. He's going to pick up Rosario, which I do think is a good play here. Ward, there's a huge Graviton early, though. The Lamp, really good positioning, is going to keep the team alive, but they got to back out here. They lose Baconator in the process, though. Sparrow Main does go down. Grim Rhino gets a nice pick on Rosario, follows up. Zarya oh unable to retreat, just too slow. And now <laughs> Axel and Peach D is the only one left. He's just going to retreat back to spawn. That is a good fight win for uh, UW getting back into things with this Zarya swap pretty yeah, immediately. Yeah, the Zarya swap was absolutely huge. The 3K from Grim Rhino there showing that like the swap to Zarya was definitely the right play. And now we have Zarya versus Zarya. Very interesting. I have not actually seen the Zarya mirror match in, uh, in quite a while. In a minute, yeah. In a but minute. I like the Zarya, right? Against the against the Bastion, against the Reaper, those bubbles yeah. are going to fill up Zarya's charge so fast. We see a long flank here from Aimless Esports. You didn't rape this. I don't know what they are. With the Bastion pumping so much damage, you see UW just has to play the corner. They cannot go in, and I would love to see 
Aimless Esports aggress off of dragon. this, but a Dragon oh. Strike coming in. Baconator manages to get a kill off Lucio, and another one onto, onto Zarya. He's been so good all match, and now he's flexing his muscles, not just as a healer, but as a DPS. Wow. Oh my god, Baconator, 26, doing some wonderful things. I, I... Okay, you, we, you're getting there. You're so close. He says it enables follower touch. only mode. Okay, I don't mind that. The Reaper does get the touch, does die pretty immediately. Now Lucio's Lucio in. going to be able to stall the point just a little bit. Zarya there to help out. PhD taken out so quickly. What great hit stand work from Grim Rhino there. Not typically what you would think of a, of a Reinhardt player, but let's go. You love to see it. <laughs> Lamp getting popped, and this should be the end of that fight. Great work from UW there. They're going to take, take point two. Now we're on to our fourth point. This is match point where, right now. Where is it? This is match point right now from UW. I'm just like lost. I have not played this map enough. Where is the next? I think it's over here. That's where people seem to be going. I'm just going to follow where yeah. everyone else is going. <laughs> All right, this could be it here for um for I think uh for UW I think they could win this right here. I gotta say I'm so sorry, Grim Rhino. I had I had to I had to. I, listen, I've got Reinhardt friends. They would tell you the same thing. <laughs> exactly. Excellent hit scan work on the Zarya. For sure. Absolutely. It looks like your your Wunch is just really up close here on the Reaper, and I love it. He's got the, the Reaper ult. I think he's telegraphing a little bit too much here, so he's really going to have to find it. This is it. Yeah, so he's going to go for it. I, mean, I think they know about it. Kanchita does, does, does get caught out. They find the Lamp, too. That's really big. Despite the amount of energy this Zarya has, he's going to get another pick here. Reaper is actually just kind of insane here, just kind of like getting insane value. I'm not so sure what their response should have been. Right. And I think, you know, they, they dropped the lamp for it. They they did their best with that. But, um, but, yeah, I think they needed to be more prepared. I mean, that was definitely super telegraph. They definitely walked away from the teleport. I think mostly fast enough. It was really just the death of that Baptiste. And it's just one down, and it's already, like, pretty bad. Here we see Kanjita swapping from Bastion over to Far, And I think that's pretty good. We also have yeah. the Far Mercy, by the way. So it's, it's pretty good. And especially against the Reaper, who's pretty, like, close range. You can be a lot further range here with the Farah. Although I do hits really, the shots. really like, I, I do really like the far swap here though, and I'll tell you why. Because this this point specifically, so much of it comes down to positioning. Yeah. Look at the position right now that UW has over this match. They pop the window pretty far into the back line, but they know what matters here. And a barrage oh. graviton is what's going to matter on the side of Aimless Esports. It does manage to get a lot of damage, but grab. not quite enough. Good lamp coming out Look from Axel, keeping his team alive. It is going back and uh -oh. forth right Mercy. now. Grim Rhino putting so much pressure onto the Mercy, can she survive? She is low. Oh. PhD escaping just barely with their life. Grim Rhino focusing now on Axel. The Baptiste knows that he doesn't have that lamp, but he just doesn't have the resources. He doesn't have the team around him. And that is going to be a win coming out from Aimless Esports. So I, I love, I love the Farah. This positioning on this map, the stairs are so important. And we see Kanjita able to counter it, able to get high. So he's not getting rained down upon from that high ground. Does managed to get a pick early that totally swings the fight absolutely swings the fight there and um th this was like 99 percent for uw there so aimless esports really won that at the, in, in like the nick of time and it, from this point they really they can't lose another fight on this one and they have to win the next point too so like pretty uphill battle here oh. ward hitting that shot is insane just by the way, Massive. that is insane. That's a headshot on the Mercy, insta-kill. And now it's a 5v4. They have a pretty good chance of just walking in here and taking this. But there are a lot of ults they have to get through. Aimless Esports does have a huge ult advantage. They drop a dragon. Oh, Kanjita goes down. With another Whoa. big kill. Kanjita gets taken out. Birdie, oh, no. And then Burby is coming in too with a kill. This is looking so hard from Aimless Esports. The it second is. that Mercy gets taken out of the fight, Farah loses so much pressure. They lose so much healing. And now E-Cubed is the last Bastion to fall as UW takes this map and takes a, 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 a set win here too. Yes. Ending on Flashpoint. Although, of course, we are going to go to our last map. Or we're not. Excellent stuff to UW White. <laughs> oh my God. Excellent stuff there. Good work. That was good crazy, game. Yeah. I loved that. <laughs> I just really like Servas. I didn't know where like my camera was because I just never mm -hmm. played the map hardly at all. I played it one time, um, but I finally started figuring it out. And uh, yeah, that was a really fun one to to cast, to watch, to think about. Um, yeah. So much strategy.
in Flashpoint. Mm-hmm. There's so much like little nuanced stuff. Very like it's a very like VOD reviewable map in many ways. And I really like that about it. So yeah, no, A plus. I really like that game mode. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. And that is a set win on uh, the side of UW, too. They they are now up 3-0. Of course, we are going to carry on with our last right, two game scrims. modes. Uh, it, we, are, we are scrimming. Uh, so we've still got an escort map. We've still got a push map left to go. Uh, Aimless Academy, at this point, you're looking for a win. At this point, you're looking to salvage something from this. You're looking for that breath of, of air where you can say, okay, we put up a good fight. And they have. That's the thing. Aimless has put up a really good fight. Uh, the matches haven't fallen in their favor. They really could have gone either way for almost all of these. Um, so at this point, it's all about taking that match. Especially you get a later match, too, and walking out of the scrim feeling really, really confident, feeling really good about yourself. Yeah. Uh, feeling like you're on top of the world. Indeed. You know, um, like, it, these are not, like, super, like, slanted losses either these are like close losses and these are some of the best mm-hmm. losses you can ask for i mean this is vod review material this is your um like you're going to improve you're gonna you're gonna do so much better next week because of the amount of challenge you're given uh this week and so this is a positive experience i think for aimless esports even though they are they are falling short just a little bit on each one of these games yeah absolutely a close loss is the best kind best. of match to learn from because oh, yeah. you can look for you can look for the things there. There's just little things that you can point out and be like, I did this well, I did yep. this good. And then this specifically, if I had just done this a little differently, would have walked away with a win here. Um, so yeah, I think a lot, a lot they can take away from this match and UW, same thing, right? A close win. Also really, really good to learn from. And you know, it just feels good too, right? You get that confidence boost. Yeah. Um, we do see a couple swaps coming in here on the side of UW again, banana dog. Banana what dog. a tag. Pretty cool. A this guy, fearsome tag. <laughs> look at this guy's name is Battle Cattle Pro. I imagine the Arisa will be coming out. <laughs> Battle, Battle Cattle, Cattle Pro. Pro. That's oh a, my god, what a tag. That's an ambitious name. You have to be good at Arisa if you're going to pull that name out. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. man, that's good. That's going to be good. I wonder, what is the next map going to be? It, it, like Type-wise, is it going to be Push? Are they playing Push? I think so. I think next would be escort and then it would end on push. Oh I yeah. Yeah. Maybe wrong. I wouldn't mind seeing some Dorado. Dorado would be kind of cool to see. Mm-hmm. We'll see though. We'll see what they're going to pick. It seems right now they're just uh <laughs> like Axel saying, I've got a few tricks. Oh. <laughs> just chatting in the in the chat right now. I do have to do our uh predictions. Once again, all of the aimless esports betters. <laughs> I, you know what? They've stayed true, though. They've stayed true the entire yeah. set, and you can't really ask for better than that. You can't right? ask for better You can't loyalty. ask for better than that. Yeah. They're willing to give up their hard earned I will say the amounts have been dwindling, right? We yeah. started with, like, 500 and then 200 and now 100. <laughs> now it's just like, so guys, I, we don't I want to see much, someone though. really throw their weight around. Someone, someone drop a 1K on, on, uh, on Aimless Esports right now. Do it. You you believe in your boys? Show show us how much you truly believe in aimless esports. Exactly. Show us, show us what you how loyal you really are. We'll see. We'll see what kind of loyalty you have here. Anyone gonna He's vote for confidence. UW? Come on. Someone also should vote for UW. They've been <laughs> they've been performing today. They deserve like a vote. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They got a big team too. They've got uh four people on their team yeah four on their or, uh, excuse me uh nine uh on their team total for currently on the bench yeah uh it's a big team so they got they got a squad going i i wonder if it's i always wonder at this skill level is it a group of friends is it someone who met online? Uh, a group who you know were looking for a team maybe through lfgs maybe. uh and found their way to each other uh i always love hearing the backstories on on how these teams came to be i i love love all the background uh yes the, the context on how these teams come around indeed and i think you get better backstories as well out of uh teams that are kind of in the lower ranks because in the higher ranks it's just like yeah i was just looking for like a grandmaster team and i just went, my friend was grandmaster and that was it <laughs> it's like okay yeah <laughs> no but like the group of friends that's totally different here looks like we're going on to push yeah, it does look like we're going push first. We're going to see Coliseo up next. A uh, very fun map, might I add. Pretty mm-hmm. Rhine-friendly map as yep. well. And uh, Doom. 
and Doom. <laughs> Doom a really popular pick on this map too, huh? Uh, I I miss the experimental patch, the April Fool's patch, where oh. Doom could punch in any direction. I don't oh know if God. you guys remembered that. That was a blast. They should put that in the real game. That's what my friend uh, Bananas would say. Um, I don't remember that. What do you mean? So you could punch that. up, you mean? Is that what you could do? Yeah, you could punch up. You could oh. punch down. My it God. was awful. That's hilarious. It was awful. That's so good. Very fun. <laughs> but, oh, man. Man, I missed that. That sucks. I want, I don't want to miss that. That sounds so much fun. Yeah. But no, April I, I April Fool's Day uh, patches are always, they're, they're a blast. They're very yes. fun. Yes, yes. If only there was a uh, like a a game mode in Overwatch that Blizzard could use to try out and test new abilities and things, and they, I don't know, they could call it the experimental, experimental, card. Or something like that. You know, that would that's a good idea. I, I feel like Thank, it's inspired right. on something, but like you're probably just I feel like a, they would get a creative. lot of use of out of that. You probably, know? probably, I'd imagine. I think that'd be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. For sure, for sure, for saying. sure. Saying. Yeah, very novel, interesting idea there. <laughs> you know what also I think they should they should actually bring do this thing where like at the end of a game you get like these cards and you can like upvote people from the other team and stuff like that. That and, would be you know, fun. Right. That'd be kind of <laughs> cool. You know, like I'm just spitballing ideas that don't exist. You know what I mean? In fairness, <laughs> every Genji player would look at their limbs and be like, see. It was, or Moira players looking at their damage done. Oh, yeah. Look, like, I did see? so much damage. I carried. I carried. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, oh, I can God. do without I can do without that one, I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, rip in peace, bozo. <laughs> I don't know. I, I liked the cards. I missed the cards from Overwatch. They were one. fun. It was fun seeing the really crazy ones at the end of matches. This yes. person got 18 boops. It was yeah. like, what? <laughs> what? 18 environmental kills? What do you mean? What did you do the whole game? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this Symmetra oh, got 44,000 four turret damage. <laughs> Roadhog like... got gold healing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking Lucio oh, Zen looking ass over here. Didn't do shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. The matches of Roadhog I've had where I've had gold healing and just sit there and watch as my rank goes down and say uh, oh yeah i i remember fine. i'd see people that are just going for gold healing on hog and all they're they're so stupid they're just like standing in spam and then they go around mm -hmm. a corner and just press e and then they stand in spam and press e <laughs> they're not even fighting oh, they're not hog. doing anything and they're just like they're gonna get to the end and they're gonna look at some car and be like yeah see i did some cool <laughs> shit carried. right i carried. Yeah. i stood in the i fed the enemy team old charge God. It's a good change they made to Roadhog. When they yeah. got when Roadhog stopped being an ult battery, things got so much. That that was a good change. Yeah. Not for Roadhog players. Like I, to be clear, I don't care about Roadhog players. Right. I felt good when I was playing DPS with a Roadhog, <laughs> having to be you know forced to you know oh this guy picked Roadhog great awesome. Enemy team. I'm good to know I'm going to be hit by Dragon Strike every 14 seconds. Dude, ah, you remember? Remember Overwatch. playing uh, Hog Ball Comp? Oh my god, that was that was oh peak god. Overwatch one right there. Torture. Well, yeah, maybe not peak. I like I like Ball Diva the most, but Ball Hog Hog and Ball Torture. That was a fun comp. That was so Torture. nasty. Like <laughs> it was a lot of fun. That was a that was a oh, fun yeah. time. Okay. All right. Moving into our match here on Coliseo. We do have uh, some swaps coming out. Battle Cat Pro swapping into the match, I believe, on DPS because Anacondra is going to be picking up tank duties again. We see a ball early on. I'd be surprised ball. if uh, we stick to it. But, man, man, do I hope because I, I hope. love that hamster. The hamster is actually pretty good right now, I think. Um, oh, yeah? I think he's got a lot of gameplay in him. Yeah, I was watching, I was watching some gameplay and... Yeah, it looked pretty strong. It looked pretty strong. Maybe I'm just naive, though. I probably am. Um, okay. Some of the, I mean, I'm definitely way more excited right now about uh, UW's comp than I am just the standard Ryan Brawl. I'm not saying the Brawl is bad. I do think that a, oh, yeah. a Cassidy in place of the Reaper here might be a little bit better, um, just because I think it holds this longer range angle a little bit better with the with his sort of mid range um, 
pressure rather than the reaper that force like they have to come closer for him to do much with the reaper um or yeah. they have to be they really just they have to go in um so that that's just my, like my take on that uh but the other side this Anna zen ball hanzo soldier very exciting stuff and i think that in the beginning mm -hmm. here they're going to be, be able to play a much better attrition game i think that uh i think ryan uh, uh, in cubed here he's just going to explode because he's going to get turned around from the ball like ball is going to shoot him from behind um and then as soon as he turns around he gets discorded and as soon as he gets discorded i mean he's just getting shot at from angles that he can't do anything about um if he gets anteed and discorded like he's just dead right um do not want to take that discorded hanzo arrow or ooh, or a ooh, no a discorded you know soldier uh, uh no gosh what's the ability rocket uh what is oh, the helix name rocket. of that ability? helix, helix rocket that's yeah uh, uh taking the the helix rocket to the back while well, discorded not a fun feeling at all uh we'll see if your prediction is right uh we do see anaconda stick into the ball so let's see how this goes uh for uw here we shall see and, the, and right from the bat i'm seeing some weird stuff from the ball i thought he was going to go a little further back than that that's an interesting ground pound kind of just wall. gets walled off here yeah so anaconda um not really look didn't really seem like his strategy was to go around the enemy team there and here it looks like aimless esports academy able to just kind of walk forward and take forward space here pretty easily despite all the range pressure these may walls kind of doing really well um at, at just like keeping the enemy team spam at bay we see reinhardt gets purple there but it doesn't really matter he still has a shield available although if you look at the angles they control it's becoming like kind of less at the moment and while yeah see like burby's actually getting a pick here um uw actually kind of has good angles here even though it's you know they've lost space they still have strong angle strong range pressure so i still think they're in the lead at the moment yeah, I, I think Aimless needed to seize their opportunity with the ball having to retreat because of that low health. He wasn't yes. able to get back to his team. Uh, Aimless Esports had an opportunity to just walk on the supports, and they didn't oh, there seize we go. it. Now Anaconda going to make him pay with a big kill onto Reaper. Aimless going to be forced back here, uh, and we'll see how they want to operate now taking this fight uh, while a man down. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, here, oh, that's a big kill on Axel. I think that Reinhardt's gonna have a tough time staying alive here. It's a big wall as well, just to be fair. Um, here, Reaper is back to the fight. And Reaper does have ult, so that could be big. Lots of ults online. Transcendence kind of comes out of nowhere there. I'm not sure what that was in response to. Um, but here, like I said, lots of ults online right now. But look at look how far apart they are. I mean, look look at Aimless Esports. He's huge from Sparrow. Huge. He calls out the lack of transcendence, immediately chases down the Zenyatta who had a Hanzo with him and gets a big, big uh, double kill off the back of that ult. Now Anaconda being kind of forced away a little bit. He's trying, he's putting a lot of pressure onto this team, just trying to, to control the bot as much as possible. But aimless esports, you see those, those supports being forced back up. They're being chased by the Reinhardt right now, and there's just not a lot that Ball can do to stop it from happening. He's got to get back in there. Definitely got to get back in there. It looks like Ryan is suffering a little bit from that Discord orb, um, so it can't really stick out in the open for too long. We see May uses the ice block there. We'll take a look at Axel. We're assuming this window is probably going to go down here. That, there comes the lamp. The lamp comes down and dodges the dragon. There. Blizzard Kajika. there comes out on a really, really low wrecking ball just so they can say, God, can we get this guy out of the fight already? So many times he's had, he's been walled off. He's been, you know, you know picked picked apart by the Reaper, but they haven't been able to come away with a kill. Finally, Kanjita just throws a Blizzard in there and says, can we just get some progress on this bot already? I agree. Kanjita's down to one HP. They're almost dead. One of the big swaps we see, though, there here is Sparrowmane swapping over to the Soldier, and I think that has been playing them pretty big dividends. They've realized that Reaper, probably not the play. And now we hear, uh, we see Battle Cat Pro going with a Nano and the Visor. Aimless Got Esports, in the meantime, does manage to get this checkpoint. Anaconda uh, and Battle Cat Pro do manage to get some picks here. 
three up on the side of Aimless Esports. Anaconda pushing in but with this May. I mean, May has been so, so good for just maybe not getting picks on the ball, but still just invalidating the ball, making sure that the ball can't deal too much damage, can't mess around so much in the back line. And Kanjita is discorded here. These mines are going to be really, really good. And Aimless Esports is going to be forced to retreat. They do back up and they do still have control of the blizzard. mob. Another blizzard coming out. Transcendence going to keep a uh, uh, UW up through the process. Uh, but that blizzard has been expended in four ultimates on the side of Aimless Esports. Four ultimates, and they really have a lot of momentum here. The bot's in a good spot for them. They are way ahead on bot. Um, and right now, just from what Ooh. I can see, yeah, in E-Cubed, e able to just walk forward and just get a couple of picks. Kenjita finds a punch onto, onto Yogur Wunch. Now yeah. that is what I like to see coming out from uh, from E cubed, right? Ball is good, and Ball's got a lot of things he can do as Sparrowman takes him out right there. Uh, Ball, Ball does have a lot of ways that he can make your team's life miserable. However, having that tank presence to protect the rest of your team is not one of those things that Wrecking Ball can necessarily do. So in right. these situations where Ball goes off, has to get a health pack, has to, to scurry away, I would love to see EQ do exactly what he just yes. did! Move forward and press on! He gets anti though! What a great anti coming Big out from anti. Dub, oh, from Whiffy, right I haven't there. seen enough of that actually. I need to see yeah. more of those big antis. That's what. Look at that! Another big fat anti, and there's nothing that EQ can do about it. He has to fully retreat into that little room there as he tries to get as much health back as he can. Takes a rock to the face. Anacronda giving him the Dwayne Johnson. Another purple. Now we see uh, Whiffy Candy just unleashing so many good aids. Three in a row now. The window comes down, but is it the right time for this window? Axel has to pop the um, the ice cube to stay alive here, and is just trying to hop around, not quite able to stay alive there. I think that overall, Anaconda swapping over to the Sigma was big, and the biggest difference there has to be from Whiff G Candy just suddenly hitting three big anti-nades in a row, first after the Shatter, the second one to just shove him into that little tiny room, and then as he retreats up the bridge, hitting him in the back with a third nade. I think that was just huge. Just over and over and over again, Whiff G just, just pulling his team to victory in that fight. That was fantastic. Uh, we do see a weird split at the end of that fight. Can be a scary situation. A UW ends up coming out on top there. And now, let's see how the Sigma is able to take this point. We do see, look at that. The Lucio the Lucio boost. The Reinhardt Wait. charges in. The Transcendence okay. forced out for Zenyatta. And Akandra manages to get a kill there onto Kanjita, but it's picked off in return. Uh, e cubed gets a kill onto Wife. Uh, Whiffy G, Sparrow oh, Man huge. with the visor comes out and he asserts his dominance with a 3k. Aimless Esports pulling this back into their control. That was huge. Welcome, Mighty Owl, in the chat, by the way. Good to see you. Hello. All How's right. Going, Mighty Owl. Mighty Owl, <laughs> our faithful leader, has joined the chat. We see a Ramatra swap now. Really, really good. Uh, I do like the Ramatra swap, allowing them to deal with this aggression from the Reinhardt a little bit better than the Sigma is able to. There we to. go. Everyone's getting a huge pick there onto Axel. Another big anti from Whiff G, forcing Reinhardt off it. of the high ground, too. This is huge. Honestly, like, I really like the fights. I think that we're seeing uh, UW take here um, on this high ground, but they, what they really have to do is cut through that middle area. They seem to be having a lot of issues, and, it, and I think maybe they're, um, they're like, undercoached for this, like, middle section here. They seem to know what they're doing on the top, but not so much here in the middle. They got to figure out, like, how to approach it. And here, I mean, you, you see Aimless Esports, they have this spawn advantages that is allowing them to already set up, and they already have this, like, firm brawl just implanted right here in the middle. They got to do something about where Anaconda pulls out the muscles, but then gets walled off here. He just has to retreat. And we see EQ looking for a shatter here. It's going to be absolutely insane when he can finally find it. Nice dragon strike, but an even better lamp coming out in response from Axel. It has been used at this point, though, so they got to be really careful. Burby Burby ends up getting a pick onto one oh, of the no. supports. Watch out. Ramatra is all the way in there, and he's getting some damage, and so is Soldier as well. Even picks oh, now in this fight. Ramatra pops his ult. He's putting a lot of damage onto E-Cubed right now, and the healing just isn't there from Axel. Axel now th gets discorded. He's going to be forced away. Lucio just trying to desperately get him out of this fight, oh, if my. at all possible, but it's no... It, it's, it's all... All lost. Peach D has to retreat. Great fight victory from UW there. 
Oh my god, that was that was pretty big. You know what I like there at the end is I like Anna Cron uh, like Anaconda watching the Baptiste like jump up but immediately throw like the pull down thing and he just gets pulled down immediately. Yeah. It's like you're not gonna jump away from me, boy. Yeah, exactly. we're we're not doing that right now. Come, yeah, let's come on down. <laughs> Where is do Tiny Donut? Ground... Exactly, large pizza. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We do have the high ground here from Aimless Esports. When they choose to drop down is their call. They're going to do They're it doing it. when this bridge is oh, on their side of things. They isolation. all collapse onto the Ramatra. There's no way he gets out of that. Even the with the Zenyatta making a mad dash with the Transcendence, it's just not going to matter. The wall is so good. The coordination is so good from Aimless Esports there. Axel gets a pick. Sparrowman gets a pick. And they may oh, have overcommitted my. just a little bit. But it is super valuable to win that fight when they're right. so close to the checkpoint, right? They're going to get control of this bot back. And man, climbing your way back into this battle is going to be so hard for UW at this point. With it 25 is. seconds left on the clock. Well, I think right now, um, Anaconda just needs to like adapt to this Maywall. Because you see, again, this is like the fifth time the Maywall has caught Anaconda like this. And they just need to like stick closer together and understand they're playing against the May. Here comes EQ with a big, absolutely insane shatter, hitting four people. The freeze comes oh. down. That was huge. Big play. Maybe it's a little bit too much ult. But yeah. It's going to clean up absolutely everything. Yogur Wunsch is not long for this world being a soul robot standing next to a soul robot. Aimless Esports needed to come away with a victory from this scrim, and they <laughs> get it on push. That's huge. That is huge. It says Tiny Donut says, I'm making huge plays on the bench right now. <laughs> no way! Look at our points! Look at our, our predictions. I can't see it. I, I encourage someone, if they were truly, truly a supporter of Aimless oh Esports, my God, to, put to drop a 1K bomb on Aimless. And when they came through, everyone swapped on the side of UW. 92% oh no. of our channel points in favor of, UD, of UW Whitewater White winning that match. Of course, it does go the oh way no. of Aimless Esports, but hey, if you stayed true, you're eating good. You're, you're eating, eating good, good tonight. Good. Yeah, indeed, indeed. What a good <laughs> time for, for UW to, to, to pull one in their favor here, because I think now it's 1-3 uh, it's in favor of UW. But at least it's not 4-0, mm -hmm. right? And so so Aimless was able to get on the board. And now this last map is really, it's kind of like more like for all the marbles, you know? It's like this is the one mm -hmm. where um, each team is going to give it their best. Each team is like an hour and a half now into the scrim. They're kind of getting a little bit fatigued, you know? And, and we're going to get into this last map here. The last map, I think, is going to be Escort, like you said, right? Uh, yes, next one should be Escort. I'm not out of my mind, right? Aimless. Aim they swap sides again. They swap sides again? No, Kanjita is or Kanjita is always on um, Aimless. That's what I've been paying, trying to pay attention to. Who won last map? Huh? Who won last map? It was Aimless, right? Aimless, didn't Am they? I out of my mind? No, you're not out of your mind. Am I out of my mind? You're not. No. Okay. Aimless won. Or aim, yeah, Aimless won. Yeah, EQ got that big shatter at the end. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jeez. I was like, I was, oh, I, okay. So let me tell you what my thought process was. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the Bastion. Bastion came out at the very end, oh, right? Right. And I immediately associated it with Kanjita. I oh. was like, Kanjita's the one who's been playing Bastion this entire time, right? No, right. it's actually Battle Cat Pro who is playing uh, Bastion at the very end there. Mm -hmm. So when I, I, I saw the Bastion at the end, part of me was like, oh, that's Aimless Esports. No, it is not. Aimless Esports did win. They did win. They did walk. We were, we were right. Um... I just got in my head for a second there. I, was, I saw the Bastion and assumed Kanjita like a fool, like a fool. <laughs> Unbelievable, oh this guy. Oh, my God. Wow. Who so was a big, who all was a Aimless Esports supporter? I want to see who all Was it Was supported. it a mind amok? Did you nom nom nom? Is that what that means, that you were the only one? <laughs> you won all the points. I won all the points. How many do you have crazy. now? crazy. So many traders in the chat, man. So many. So traders. many. They're all voting in like three times in a row for Aimless. And you're like, you know what? We're going to get our channel points back. We're going to vote for UW. And then, oh my God. That's now what you guys he's deserve. A, he's a thousand air. He's got 3,800. Oh, Jeez, that's man. more points than I have. Oh my God. That's oh not more God. points than I have because mine says I have an infinity symbol. But like, I'm oh, cheating. Wow. I'm, the, I'm the broadcaster. So, of course. <laughs> 
it says yeah, infinity. Well, I have infinity plus one points, so... Bet all your points on it. What are you going to vote for this time, though, man? Because, like... Yeah, are you gonna? Man. Are you going all in? Are you going deep on this 3.8K? Do you feel like the momentum from Aimless Esports is on the rise? Do you, like, is this their moment to just brawl it up on this escort map? Whatever we're going to get here. Oh, says we can we do Route 66? Is brawl good on Route 66? I want to say... Kind of not. I, I want to say this is very much like spam and dive. So I, I would expect things with higher mobility um, and expect things that are, you know, more spread out and more like angle diverse on Route 66 mm -hmm. until we get to that third point. I don't think that Brawl is the play. So we'll see kind of how they're going to roll this. Um, I do feel like Aimless's like primary strategy is Brawl, and which is which is you know pretty common. Uh, I think that uh, I don't know how new their team is, but any any team that is new generally um, does start off by just trying to get really comfortable with Brawl, or, like really trying to stick close mm -hmm. together. And so I, I'm not surprised seeing like a Brawl being forced. Um, just just as a matter of like learning, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and they looked really, really good on uh, on Coliseo. They looked great on Coliseo. You would not think that UW had won the past three, judging from that push map, but they mm -hmm. looked really great. Uh, I, I said at the beginning, I wish that uh, E cubed had been pushing in a little bit more. Right. From that point on, it seemed that they uh, caught that really quick, right? And they were like, hey, we need to go in a little bit more, take advantage of the fact that they don't have a big anchor tank mm -hmm. shielding their team and just walk on them with that big heavy Rhine hammer. Yeah. Uh, that's what they did. They took advantage of that really well. Uh, and UW just wasn't able to, to stabilize from that point on. You saw a lot of swips, uh, a, a swaps swips. there at the end. <laughs> swips, uh, switches and swaps. Uh, yes. You saw a lot of swaps there at the end. They weren't quite able to stabilize. We did see them have a nice big push towards the end but just wasn't enough uh to come back the damage had had very much already been done by aimless who had a really really good map and can they keep that momentum going into our next escort map route 66 uh i'd like to see how chat is betting oh my gosh oh, the most points we've seen predicted so far by a lot six thousand points across chat on the line here 6500 it's actually quite a lot of points here um mm. and, and most it, of them we'll say most of them are endless. a mind muck most of them are he did 3800 so the other 500 or somebody else and <laughs> everyone else is like he's got 2100 into uw whitewater white so mm -hmm. who knows you know who knows <laughs> wait you only did 1k Okay, I think you. I think Ooh. you're a coward. I think you're a coward. You should have done three point eight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got to hold some points for next feature match. All right, next right, next feature, next feature. I get you. I get you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's it's close between these two teams, right? Like aimless aimless definitely has a lead, but we've got a lot of UW Whitewater White supporters here in the chat too. So, all right, we'll we'll see who can come out on top. So far, chats. Predictions have been very poor, Cow? very bad. You guys have are definitely 0-4 right now as far as predictions go. Wait a minute. So we'll see who can come out on top in this one. Is Cav really 3350 deep on Aimless right now? That is Ooh. that is huge from the from the famous videographer from uh, Aimless Esports. Man. Hey, you gotta rep your team. Gotta you gotta rep your, rep your, team, your team. That's what Cav's doing. My predictions are never bad. Yo, give me some lottery Ooh. numbers, dude. <laughs> Big talk coming out right now from Gav. Big talk. Oh, my God. Look at my shaking. Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long. Oh, I made that like eight months ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. So here early on, on Route 66, uh, we mentioned not... A super great brawl map it can be okay on attack uh on defense not so much uh we do have uh aimless esports on attack and they've got a diva selected right now and hey as two resident diva players <laughs> we'll, we'll just say we're gonna have a lot of fun yes um this is a this is a super super fun map for diva i would say one that i really like running diva yes. on especially on attack uh yes so I, i'm excited to see some diva getting played and maybe some orisa from grim rhino orisa yeah you know you know what mm. you know what is really good against orisa diva yes Diva ain't bad diva ain't bad against go. orisa 
Not bad at all. I don't know. What the, oh, wow. <laughs> UW is ready. We also have a Widowmaker and a Genji out too. Axel, uh, swapping off of the Baptiste that we've seen him play pretty religiously here uh, in favor of the Ana. Uh, of course, being able to apply that Nano to the Genji Blade was, was really, really good uh, uh, for that combo. And PhD yep. rocking the Brigida, potentially. Uh, Brig, that's another yes. really interesting. And perhaps our first... Ilari, Ilari, yes, Ilari coming out. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, as, as, as excited I am to see uh, Wifty Candy on the Ilari. You know, we got to bring back the meme. The dive brig is in play. We got a dive comp Ooh. with a brig. That is dive brig. And what I want to see is brig walk up this ramp right here <laughs> that I'm following up on. You know what she can do? She can jump and shield bash all the way to the top of the gas station. Trust me, I have clips of myself doing this shit. I swear she can go up here and become the raid boss. She is always known she was born to be. This is going to be a day. If do we not PhD have a can dive brig emote? I don't know. Should we? I mean, we definitely should. Uh, absolutely, we should. Absolutely, we should. That's got to be absolutely. something. I'll, I'll make that a goal this next week or so. I'll, I'll try to make a dive bird emote for sure. But as for now. comes out with that DM soaking up all of that incoming damage. Orisa not quite able to get anything. An early armor from Orisa as well. We see uh, uh, the damage boost from the Mercy being applied here too onto the Orisa so she can build up that ult charge <laughs> as quickly as possible. Uh, pretty even fight so far. Uh, I wonder how this is going to play out. Genji dives into the back line immediately and does manage to get a pick onto the Hanzo. He's got a lot of pressure on him right now, but the healers are coming in. Butternugget does manage to get a kill onto Kanjita in response, though, and a nice res. Battle Cat Pro makes it so that UW is back at full force. They're back at full force, and we still have Hanzo on top of that gas station, and something's got to be done about that, you know? Like, if you look at this team comp from um, from the uh, God, I don't know, UW side, here it's just it's just sturdy you know like the mercy is going to be a tough one to get to get rid of here and the hanzo on top of the gas station is just going to be also kind of annoying not only that but you also you also just have arisa which is just a very tanky tank so here we see tracer jumping on to the top here and see if the tracer can find find something up here from sparrow gets rid of the the little turret recalls back to the top it goes to duel is it going to go right here if your Ooh. Tracer doesn't have a recall available to her? So she's just going to have to evacuate from the fight. But now the D.Va taking the high ground, pr bringing all of that attention away from uh, her, her backline. Orisa trying to charge Ooh. in in the meantime. But D.Va responds. She gets back to her healers. And that's a nice anti-grenade coming out from the Ana. Kenjita gets a kill onto Alari. He's destroying Jeez. this backline oh. right now. Hanzo gets taken out as well, and it's Mercy's turn. And now, one by one, UW falls. Aimless Esports with a great Dude. fight there. Kanjita gets the kills on the back line. Diva with great protection of the supports. That was beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what Kanjita was cooking there, but cook more of that. That was awesome. <laughs> Picked up, like, two kills plus a kill on, like, I don't know, maybe it was three kills. I, I lost count because it was just, like... Choo -choo -choo. It was like, choo -choo -choo. <laughs> right? It was crazy. It was it was awesome. Here we see a recontest potentially. Arisa's is gonna have to touch the point here, but then Kenjita pulls out the blade, goes full weave mode, oh. gets two, gets three. Is he gonna go for more? It's gonna be huge. It wasn't actually a three. The One of them the turret. Oh, there we go. The one v one with the Hanzo. One v one with the Hanzo. Don't steal it. Give it to him. Oh. Okay, but you gotta get it though. Don't get headshot here. Oh, there we go. Nice, okay. there it, it took is. took a little too long <laughs> for comfort. A little too long for comfort there. I was a little scared for a moment. Whew. Whew. Okay, okay. Can you just clean with the Genji combo, says Cav. I agree. Look, we don't talk about the 10 shurikens it took to, to kill 1 HP Hanzo. But outside of that, it was pretty clean. Definitely pretty clean. Yeah, I, I liked it. A textbook combo there from Axel and Kanjita. Basically, I mean, perfect, right? You don't have any invincibility on the side of UW, right? So Genji can work without fear. He's looking really good in this match right now. Another great anti from uh, uh, from Axel here. He's looked really good on this Ana so far. But with EG showing up with the Alari getting a kill onto Genji pretty early. Diva does get demeched, but she's got a bomb. She is able to get back into that mech. And Grim Rhino really low here. 
really low. And here we see Butter uh, Nugget from the very top here. Comes with the visor. It picks up two. That's a huge double support kill there for UW. We pull out a Valk here. Might be more than we really needed. We've already, it feels like we already kind of won this fight. Um, but it is going to secure it for sure. We see also Battle Cat Pro is now on uh, the Sombra. So... That is an interesting swap. Maybe it's a swap for the Genji. I'm not quite sure. Um, just to like hack the Genji while the Genji's behind or just to hack the Tracer and, and create like openings for, for the team to do something. I do actually like E-Cubed um, also swapping off uh, the Diva here onto the Monkey. I think Monkey can do a lot, especially uh, with whatever the rest of the team, like with a Tracer and a Genji wanting to like get in there. I think the, the Monkey's gonna be pretty good. Getting on top of the high ground here is also pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Monkey gonna oh. dive right in, but he gets shredded by Soldier 76. Butter Nugget just absolutely annihilating the Winston, and they're gonna take a second to regroup here before they That's go good. into the next fight. That's a level-headed play so. here, actually, coming from uh, from from um, Aimless Esports Academy to like take that regroup. No need to like push in and, and do something you don't need to be doing. And and I like to see the retreat here and the regroup. It's good to see. I think so too, and I, I do want to say I think this is a strong comp for UW. They're looking really, really, they're looking really, really comfortable in it right now, which I think is the most important thing at this skill level, right? Yeah. Uh, they're looking very, very comfortable with it. The Sombra, I like it for the, the Genji and the Tracer, who have been a problem. They do need answers for it. Uh, Winston slowly pushing the cart right now. He's got to evacuate a, a little bit, and EQ does manage to pick up a kill onto the Soldier 76. It's pretty big. I've been looking for the Nano this entire time, not quite seeing it. But here comes Alari, pulls out the ult, throws the Thunder down below, and gets a pick onto E Cube. That's two now dead for you, uh, for for sorry for Aimless Esports, and that's going to be a, a, probably a fight win here for for uh, UW. These supports need to get out. They they have got to make sure that they don't get staggered here. It doesn't look like UW is going to be too aggressive here. Of course, that respawn very, very close to the spot of those supports. But yes. yeah, UW looking really, really good right now. They're, they've they've got uh, the Sombra EMP coming up or uh, available right now. And they might yeah. be able to start this fight with a visor too. They're, I think they're going to, I mean, they got to look for a nano blade here if you're on uh, Aimless's side. I mean, you've got to do something, but it just seems like Axel's just trying to find this nano at some point. And here it is. At some point, they're going to do it. This nano blade's coming out. Here it comes. Here it, here it is. Is, is it going to be able to pick it up? Try to jump Kenji away. able to get here? Does manage to get two onto the Alari, onto the Sombra. Looking for more. There's a lot of vulnerable oh. people right in here. Mercy is very vulnerable. She does get picked Ooh. off in a nice dash onto the Soldier 76 okay. as well. That was the combo we were waiting on. And is UW going to be able to recontest? Most likely they yes, will. But probably. with just a Sombra and a Lari, are they, are they going to be able to really stand a chance here in this fight? I think Sombra can stall here. I think it's really important that someone comes out here pretty soon um, because they've already got this door kind of plugged up and we see Soldier coming out the other side. I think that's a good idea. And we got Attack Visor. This could be really good, but don't want to almost draw too much attention to yourself because you've got to touch that cart. Here we do see uh, the Grim Rhino is now on the cart and able to hold that down. And that's a big a pick massive. onto the monkey. It's really a big. Massive first, first pick from Kanjita, and he gets another oh one. What a huge a pulse bomb! Taking out the Sombra, taking out the Mercy from Sparrow Main. Sparrow. It's just the Orisa left. That was absolutely huge. What a play. Whoa. The Mercy Res comes in at the end there, right? Making it to where UW net then has the man advantage in that fight. But as she flies away to retreat from all that pressure she was receiving while resing, a pulse bomb just gets placed right onto her. She delivers it directly to Sombra. What a bomb from Sparrowman keeping his his team in this match. That was really big. In in like a, a, like that was just a huge 2K. And then to get to turn that 2K into a 3K and then a 4K, it's just huge tracer play there from uh, Sparrowmane. Love to see a pop-off moment from him in, in this scrim like that. It's really awesome to see. And we see um, we see the the little turret thing has gone down from Alari and a huge position up here from Butter Nugget with the with the soldier just looking for like anything up there. Genji kind of pushing him off. E cubed has a primal. So way up there, but she manages to get a kill onto PhD, and with only 30 seconds left on the clock, that is going to be really, Whoa. really scary. Emily Seasports just has to back out at this point, regroup. They've got 25 seconds left to take this final fight, and they're dangerously close to a Blade Nano.
or uh, the nano the nanoblade. Yeah, the nano blade is going that before, to be but... <laughs> huge. I mean, it has always been huge. Kenjita going over this blade has always been insane. But they they were kind of reacting to it this time. Does pick up the Ana, Does pick up? Oh, oh, it's huge. It's it is pick a up nice, two. It's it's a huge nano coming. Or, excuse me, a huge anti coming out uh, onto the Genji there. But it's just not enough. The shots don't come through, and Genji manages to pick off both the supports. And now picks are being traded back and forth. The Orisa still up as well as the Reaper. They're gonna get a lot of damage, but the Big Reaper anti. gonna deal so much damage to the Winston. Another oh. huge anti coming out from Burby Burb right there. They're able to retreat, get that shield up. Anna, uh, making sure that her Winston is healthy. And now Genji trying to put so much pressure onto their supports and does manage to find a kill. Support's being traded back and forth, and this, as long as they're trading, this is in favor of UW right now. Just the Brig and the Tracer left on point. Can they wrap this up as soon as possible? These are two very survivable heroes right now. Tracer, it's all down to Sparrow Main. She on. needs to stay alive as quickly as, as long as possible and enable her team to get back into this fight. Is oh. it going to be enough? Can Winston make it? He can't. But what a UW. stall. They're, they're going to hold at the very end there. Yes, that was that was actually crazy from uh, the tracer being able to hold that shadow shadow was able to hold that for quite a long time. So that was really mm -hmm. cool to see and like just a butt clenching little fight there at the end. That was really <laughs> awesome to see. Mm hmm. Yeah, tricks, uh, picks being traded back and forth. I've loved the play of Aimless Esports' DPS. This, yes. this whole time, their DPS have been so good. And I find that the uh, uh, you know the the tank play and the support play from uh, from the side of UW has really been a great counter to it, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I've loved seeing these two sides battle. Uh, at the end there, that blade, uh, you know, it's a great anti from Burby Bird, but the shots just don't land. Manages to take out both those supports towards the end of that fight, or towards the beginning of that fight. Uh, but great job. Really, really good job from UW of holding on, allowing their response to come back, just taking their time and stabilizing. Yeah, there's a lot of methodical play from UW there. I really enjoyed seeing that. And also, um, just like props to Kanjita for like three electrifying blades. Like every yeah. blade, there was never a blade that was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like every blade was like, hell yeah, that that is a good feeling. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Kanjita looking so great in this. I've loved watching Kanjita play. Kanjita is is uh, uh dare I say star in the making. Star, star in, in the, the making. making. Yes. But not to be outdone by the likes of Butternugget and Battle Cat Pro who have also Absolutely looked not. pretty solid in this match so far. Butternugget Definitely. or uh, Butternugget uh coming in with multiple huge ultimates early on in this set. Uh, let's. I, I think they're really going to be relying on him to to come out big, especially on this Genji, which I don't believe we've seen Butter Nugget on yet in this set. Yeah, I actually don't think we have. Um, so that'll be interesting. I think Genji is really good here, just for you know mm -hmm. being able to get on top of really important positions, like being able to get on top of this gas station is just like kind of important. And I think Genji does it really well. And then on the second point, getting on top of the saloon is again, like really important. And Genji does both of those things really, really well to deny those really strong anchory positions from the, from the defensive team. And so I think that playing Genji here is a good idea. We do see a lot of swaps coming in from aimless esports looking to change their strategy entirely, going for something way pokier. We see Sparrow kind of flashing the, the soldier here. We see E cubed onto the Sigma of uh, a choice that I have picked many times here on defense. Um, I actually like it myself. And the Torb feels really good, actually. So, yeah, I like it, right? If they're yeah. afraid of that more divey comp coming out from UW, which they are, in fact, displaying with the Genji, mm -hmm. uh, having this anchor comp is really, really going to be solid. They all take Solace on the high ground. The turret's going to pepper so much damage into Genji, so we just can't effectively... Uh, you, you know, get on and, and, and steal attention away uh, with his damage on the supports. It might be a little bit of an issue from Butter Nugget. We'll see how they're able to respond uh, to this comp that Aimless Esports Academy is going to be running. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see. And I like Sparrow swapping over to Ash here, especially with the Mercy Pocket. It's going to be pretty strong. We love those damage-boosted dynamites. I mean, those, those hit like a truck. And I think that... Uh, that going on as well with the Alari will be interesting. I I have not seen a whole lot of Alari in my time. So here's this is an instance where I would like I would expect um, a Baptiste, but Alari does look pretty good too. I mean those shots are very painful. Can headshots pretty strong. 
So, uh, yeah. I'm excited to see this comp. Nice, this looks pretty donut. good. Thanks, thanks for stopping yes, by, thank Tiny, you, Tiny Donut. Thanks for the raid. We appreciate you. You have a good night. In Tiny Donut's final words, good luck, Aimless. I love you. Aww. Let's see if Aimless is That's able to, to pull through with the love from Tiny pull Donut, through. the love boost. Dude, the love <laughs> boost goes strong. I mean... They, they did get off dive break, which is, you know, sad to my heart. But, you know, I think they, they countered that with uh, Tiny Donut providing the uh, the love. I love you all, and thank you guys so much for doing such a great job casting and bringing so much joy to my community. Yes. Yes, you are welcome. And thank you again for the raid. Have a good night, man. We love you too, to Tiny see. Donut. Good to see you. We love you too. Spam your Tiny Donut emotes in the chat. Spam that. Spam it if you've got it. So immediately we see Butter Nugget coming out, exposed now to this anchor comp. Does not want to dive out there if he has uh, if he has the choice. Uh, Sigma shield gonna make it so difficult. Now putting a lot of pressure onto this Torbjorn Ooh. E cubed though. Gets a kill onto Battle Cat Pro, opening things up really early. And though uh, we though we do see some progress being made on point, it looks like it's Aimless Esports that's gonna walk away with a victory in this map after or, excuse me this fight after winning. Uh, after after taking two and now three lives from this battle. Wow, Kenjita, yeah, picks up a lot of uh, a lot of picks there right in the end. I, I love the confidence from Butter Nugget to jump through and like dash all the way through the top of that gas station there, hitting multiple people with that dash. Um, put a lot of pressure there on the Ash, but the constant Mercy Pocket was just able to keep the Ash up through all of that. And um, and unfortunately, it was that came like after um, UW had already suffered a couple of losses, so. Unfortunate for them, the timing just wasn't quite where they wanted it to be. Um, here, Grim Rhino insisting on playing this Arisa here, unable to really walk to the top of that gas station while Kenjita just picks up a kill on the Kiriko. And so at this point, like, what do you do if you're UW other than to retreat? I mean, like, I love the confidence again here from Battle Nugget, but I mean, now he's just dashing into nowhere, has no deflect. I mean, this is definitely death, unless. And look. And look too, with the Orisa like moving on to point like that, the supports are just <laughs> exposed. So much Sigma damage can come through. Torb span, a God forbid the Ash, right? Uh, with the Orisa, I just don't think Orisa was able to properly protect the team like that. And that's mm -hmm. why we see a swap to the D.Va. D.Va is going to be able to get in the yes. face of the, those high ground players. She's going to be able to DM and protect her team. I do really like the swap here. I do too. I'm excited to see this Alari ult, which I think is going to be coming up here pretty soon. Um, hopefully we'll see some pretty intense coming on here. Sparrow main, though, walking oh. away with three kills there, and we do have a pause. Yeah. Uh, but Sparrow main with a spicy 3k before that happened. It might, it might have been Axel, because I was just watching Axel's POV there to see if they would use their ult. And, uh, when I did, they kind of just, like, jumped off of, uh, the gas station oh, in a weird no. angle. Axel. Axel, okay. And Ward. Oh. No, Ward joined the... Okay, you're good. Was I right? Oh, I was right. It was Axel. Yeah, so I was just watching his POV, yeah. and it looked weird there for a second. Yeah, so that was uh, unfortunate. They might swap somebody... In. That's aimless, so that they might not have anyone to, su to sub in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully we get a, a swap in here soon. Uh, it was a good 3K coming out from aimless. They're looking really, really solid in this match so far, and this comp has been has been paying dividends as far as accomplishing what they wanted to do, which was conquer that high ground, make sure that Aimless Esports wasn't able, or excuse me, to make sure that UW wasn't able to dive onto them, wasn't able to split them up, pick them apart like that. They've played really, really well. They've played together. Yeah. Uh, uh, they've, they've looked really, really solid. And not just this map, but the, the previous map as well. They've really turned things around at the end yes. of the scrimp. I feel like they really have found something within themselves and it, or they are playing better on the, the last half of the scrim, which says that they have one of those key components that's really good for a team, which is uh, ad ad adaptability, like yeah. adapting and just like like being better as the game progresses is a huge like boost to your skill, in my opinion.
Yeah. 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 They yeah. seem to be learning as the set goes on too. Right. Uh, and this isn't to say, uh, that UW hasn't as well. I right. loved watching UW, uh, with their, their plethora of team comps, right. Their flexibility. Uh, they, they've been fighting really great too. It's just aimless. Esports has really stepped it up. They played to their strengths. I feel in these right. last few maps, uh, and they've looked really, really good. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree. They they have they, uh, UW has really showcased themselves as a team that is on the map, um, a, a really yeah. like a, a fun team to play with here. It seems like so, um, really excited that they took the opportunity to join in today's feature match and uh, mm -hmm. put their put their name on the radar. It's really good to see them for the first time here. Yeah, love seeing new teams. Love 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 seeing new teams. Yes. Uh, yeah, hopefully we're able to get a sub in soon. Yeah, uh, I know it's you know we're towards the end of the scrim too, so it's like true. Everyone's tired. It's already seven oh four my right. time. Yeah, already. All right, let's yeah. let's go. Right, let's go. Um, no, let's go. But there's there's let's marbles go. to be had. That we got to finish this match. I mean, it's a feature match. We got yeah, we got to finish points it. Points on the line. There's points on the line. We really we got to finish these points on the line. Um, this is the last. This is the last uh, game of the series. So. Um, We'll, this will be over in about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how long it takes to get the uh, axle back. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, in other news, though, I mean, we've, we were peaking up there for about 17 to 18 viewers in this first feature match back in about six months. Um, six wow. months of absence, we come back and we get about 17, 18 viewers on the, on the feature match. I think that's really exciting, actually. Um, if anyone's mm -hmm. in the chat and is... Uh, looking to scrim in this sort of gold plat area um there's not a whole lot of places to look and we pretty much have a kind of a monopoly on that not entirely but <laughs> um but we do have a lot of people looking for gold in plat scrims that are looking for gold scrim server so check it out in the, in the discord link in the description of this video and we're back into the game now everyone say hi to my dog who decided to make an appearance on stream just now by the way woof woof <laughs> yeah, please join in on the LFGS uh, Discord server. It's a great way to connect with other players around our skill level uh, and and form this this community that has been so fun, uh, so much fun. And, and such a pleasure to be a part of. Uh, so yeah, as we get back into this match, still the D.Va from Rhino, and here comes the Nano Blade. What is it going to be? It's oh going to be a kill onto Ash and Ilari and onto Mercy it's and Sigma. Is it a 5k? Come on, give it to him. Give it where's, to wait, him. Where's the Torbjorn? Is, oh, there's, wait. he's hiding. He's hiding. He's, he's trying, inside. He's trying he's to inside. He doesn't 5K. want to give him the 5k. Kanjita doesn't want to give him the 5k. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no. Why? How does he not know it? Oh, and here's no the way he does that from Torbjorn. He gets a kill onto the Wait, Kiriko and a Wait kill a onto the Diva. There's no way. What is happening Kenjita right now? might have just single-handedly in a one-on-five situation turned this what entire fight around. Are you serious? What was that What is shit? happening right now? <laughs> what was that shit? He just waited in the gas station. No one saw him. Is that... He just, like, pulled out a core and killed two and just didn't die 1v5? That was... I have never seen someone with like so much power, so much Kanjita courage. Said, Kanjita said, no, 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 we end this right here and right now. I don't care if I have to do it myself, but you gotta watch wow. the card progress. It's getting dangerously close to picking up that first point. Sparrowman does get a kill onto the Kiriko. Axel takes out the the uh, tire and now Axel gets a kill onto the Junkrat as well. The Torbjorn turret taken out of the fight, but Butter Nugget loses his life in the process. Now it's just the Diva and the Ana fighting against the world. It could be a big Diva bomb. It does pick up a kill onto the Ash oh, and a drop oh right on to the Torbjorn, are you no. kidding me? Sigma no, manages right. to pick up the D.Va, but she's still fighting. Axel dropping dangerously low. Ilari needs to be taken out of this fight if they want a chance, and she does. Sigma, the last one on the point. Can they pick up the kill? They do, against all odds. A D.Va and an Ana against Ooh. the world. UW picks up that first point, that and they continue big. on in this final match. Oh, that was big. I didn't know if UW was going to be able to mentally turn it around after getting 1v5'd by a Torbjorn, but they did. And they capped that point. This match is still going. This could actually still result in a UW win. I am just blown away. But we do see Kanjita back at 87% to ult. And I just want to see another Molten Core just lay the field with UW. We'll see if it happens. Here's a big flank. Pill kills Butter Nugget. 
from inside the saloon. He goes for the E, gets slept immediately. That's a big sleep, actually, from Burby. Huge, huge sleep. Turning things back around this fight, this match, ever since we had that disconnect, things have been absolutely pandemonium right now. Diva taking that high ground, making sure that Ash, Ash's presence can't be felt, and taking her out of the fight entirely now. Diva is pretty far forward, and Mercy does get the res off, but at the cost of her life. UW is moving in, and they are moving in fast. Ilari left on the field. She's probably going to get picked off here by the Diva. Indeed, yeah. it does come. And now, Aimless Esports in a rough spot. They may not be able to touch this point. They might just have to set up for third. <laughs> Oh my god, I think Cav is absolutely right. This game has been a slugfest, and I uh, I love it too. Like, we love the slugfest. We do not like the, the, the curb stomps. We like it when uh, both teams are really well positioned against each other, and that's exactly what we're seeing here on Route 69. 66, my bad. Um, Kinjita still has the, the Molten Core, just holding it up here. And what I'm expecting thought. something big. Who would have thought that these teams would be so evenly matched going into this scrim? I mean, they are neck and neck right now. Diva oh, goes oh. up to take a little bit Wait of power minute. away from the Sigma, but Kanjita gets a snipe from across the map onto Butter Nugget, who's got to be just tilted right now. God, after this many times oh, being killed by the Storm, thankfully Torb removed from the fight now. Grim Rhino uh, uh, taking the courtesy there. Uh, it is a four-on-four -four fight. We've got our respawns coming in soon. We got respawns coming in soon. E cubed does have the lift with Sigma here, and I see a big opportunity coming up. He's going to use it right now. Pretty soon here, we see Axel oh! go for an old. It doesn't quite work for him. We see Kanjita go out. Visor! Visor from the top. From the top row picks up two, and the turret kills Butter Nugget. Can they find the turret? The Molten Core finds some. The bomb goes down, but kills no one. And the bomb, once whoa. again, the bomb. once again, it's Kanjita versus the world. Bob does so much damage, oh. but he's not going to survive long that time. But he does stall just long enough for Axel to get back to the point. Is it going to matter? It Here's is. The Ash coming out. able to now get onto the point, but a great nano onto the Diva. They've got to get a kill onto this Mercy they and onto this Ash now. The Sigma charges in, trying to get something here. They're trying to Here's stabilize, and they may just do it. Sigma looking so good, looking so survivable. Here's, Here's a, tire. a tire. It could change the face of the map. Butter Thank Nugget comes up. Up big with a kill onto the ash, but the lamp comes out. Sigma staying alive, just barely. Still five up for UW. They're fighting strong. Where is the kill rest? gonna come out on Where PhD? Rest? Somehow she survives, but she does fall there, and so does Axel. There's no support left on the side of Aimless, and five strong still from UW. It's only a matter of time as they take the final map in this scrim following a death from the Sombra. What oh, a no. match! Oh wait, oh I forget that we're going to the end. Oh my god, it's not over. It's not over. It's, it's not, not over. It's not over. It actually is going to the end. That is still a W for UW, but yeah, they're going to stall it up a little bit more here. We see the recall come out, just pick after pick coming from UW. Finally, the momentum pushing in their favor there. That was huge. That was so much fun. I am so glad I decided to do this today. That was mm -hmm. super worth it. Super worth it. And all I can hope is that uh, the next feature scrim will be just as hype. And mm -hmm. I, don't know when, I don't know when exactly it's going to be. But we will definitely have to be doing some more feature scrims because this was way too much fun to not do. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, this this was a great scrim. That was a lot of fun. Two really evenly matched teams just absolutely duking it out. Play after play. I don't even know. There were so many play of the games, you know, that you could easily point to. I mean, I got to give the crown to Kanjito with that molten core at the end there. Yeah. That was absolutely insane the confidence to to pop that at the very end there but what a great match from these two teams i'm excited to see more from them uh from from both uh uw whitewater white and uh aimless academy aimless esports academy both these teams really showed their stuff today yes yes they both actually what was this oh my god nihilus is such a good commentator nihilus love yes no i totally agree nihilus you just gotta teach me how to do that man you're so good thank, thank you polite pencil ah oh, asman get the heck out of here dude. What you that was about? great i loved casting with you dude that was yes. so much fun yes we got to keep doing it we got to keep on it because uh, i think we're both getting better and better and it's uh yeah it's it's a lot mm -hmm. of fun mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun so yeah, that was really fun. We're going to be doing uh, more featured scrims in the future because that is fun. I don't really have to play the game if I just cast the game, right? Like that's <laughs> the way to do it.
Why thank not you, both? Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for all the viewership. Um, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for enjoying this match. I'm going to rewatch this match because uh, mm -hmm. that was hype and that was a lot of fun. So thank you everyone yeah. who decided to come in. And um, I will let you know as we uh, schedule another one of these. Maybe we do another one next weekend. Um, I'll keep you updated. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night.